Greetings, everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ. This, ladies and gentlemen, is again the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre recorded program coming to you from the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. No sin salutation to nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Saludos a todos nuestros radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de Jesús Cristo. Este es el programa radial, verdad de Dios, con el pastor Gino Jennings. We ask you to bow with us as uh, Minister Roosevelt Alfred of Fredericksburg, Virginia, will now lead us in prayer. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to pray and thank you for all your loving kindness. My God, your tender mercy that you have stand towards us in the last days. My God, I want to pray and thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. My God, for how you have blessed, my God, your people down through the years. My God, I want to pray and thank you, Lord, for all the apostles and prophets that already passed on. My God, I want to pray and thank you, Lord, for our day leader, Pastor Jennings. My God, we pray, Lord, that you have a blessing. My God, that you are keeping spiritual and natural. My God, that you will strengthen his body. Yes. My God, that he be able, my God, to contain the labor with the people. Yes. My God, that we too might be saved in the last days. Yes. My God, I want to pray and thank you, Lord, for all the saints of God everywhere. Yes. My God, those that came from far and near. My God, that you are blessed. My God, we pray, my God, for the young people tonight. My God, that you will give them a mind, my God, to repent of their sins and be baptized in war in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. My God, we pray, Lord, that you will give them a mind to seek you, my God, for the Holy Ghost. Yes. My God, that they too might be saved in the last days. Yes. My God, I want to pray and thank you, Lord, for the telecast and the broadcast, my God, as it go forth over the ways of the air. Yes. My God, that we will enter in some, into someone's heart, my God, and give them a mind, my God, to repent of their sins. Yes. My God, that they too might be saved in the last days. Yes. My God, we pray and ask in all these blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, unto the glory of God. Amen. Amen. For those who join us again, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. Uh, it's pre-recorded. Coming to you from the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our headquarters church is located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue. Uh, that's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Uh, you're also uh, witnessing uh, a service being held here in Mobile, Alabama. It's our 12th National Youth Convocation. Again, our 12th National Youth Convocation. This year, we're convening on the Gulf Coast in Mobile, Alabama. And uh, it's being held specifically at the Grand Hall, the Grand Hall, and that's located at 3556, 3556 Halls Mill Road in Mobile, Alabama. Once again, you're witnessing our 12th National <coughs> Youth Holy Youth Convocation. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, uh, a current list of all our radio and television stations, a list of our church locations, both within and outside of the United States. A list of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings and the Church's Magazine. It's uh, called The Truth of God Journal, the fourth edition. Uh, that's available for 10 US dollars. A cassette record of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five US dollars. Uh, we also have DVDs and CDs and so forth available of our program. Uh, if you would like to obtain a copy of that, I'll give you the address. The address is uh, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19125. However, those writing to us, we'd like you to direct uh, all your correspondence to our post office box address. Uh, that's P.O. Box 7745, P.O. Box 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. For those who are just joining us and just listening, or watching, our program number tonight is 792. Once again, if you're just joining us, uh, the Truth of God radio and television program today's or tonight's program number, 792. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area, in person by Pastor Jennings, or have questions regarding this program, or simply regarding, again, the scriptures, again, you may address all your letters and correspondence to Pastor Gino Jennings. 
First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19125. Again, send it to our post office box, P.O. Box 7745, P.O. Box 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. I would also like you to uh, go to the internet and visit our website, and that's located at www.truthofgod.com. Again, go to the web and visit our internet site. That's www.truthofgod.com. We'd also like you to send us an email. Just like to remind our viewers and listeners that we get a tremendous amount of emails. And uh, the shorter you make your email, is the more likely that it will be read and perhaps answered on air. Again, send us a short email. Our email address is truthofgod at arrows.com. Again, truthofgod at arrows.com is our email address. And uh, please send us a short email. If you don't like to do that, uh, you can always pick up the phone and give us a call. That call is toll free to you. 1-888-231-2201. Once again, give us a call if you have questions or concerns about our telecast or radio broadcast that may be airing in your area. one 888 231-2201 is the telephone number. Again, we'd like to say a few very quick words to our French-speaking listeners. Nous sommes salutations à tous nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Cette mission vous parvient de la première église de, nos, de notre Seigneur. Cette émission vous parvient de la première église de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ de la foi apostolique située à 2431 Frankfurt Avenue à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. La voie plan du salut de Dieu demande le repentez et le baptême dans l'eau au nom de Jésus-Christ pour l'absolution de vos péchés et que vous sauviez le cadeau du Saint-Esprit comme il est écrit dans la Bible. Nous vous salutons à notre clair pour recevoir une documentation gratuite en français ou en anglais et titulée Êtes-vous honné, femme prédicatrice, et Jésus-Christ est Dieu tout puissant. Encore une fois, nous vous rappelons notre adresse, première église, notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. 24, 31, Frankfurt Avenue, à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. Dieu vous bénisse. Nous espérons avoir de vos nouvelles très prochainement. That's to our French-speaking listeners. Just like to remind you again, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, pre-recorded today, coming to you from Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, Alabama, and uh, we're broadcasting today from the Grand Hall, the address 3556. 3556 Halls Mill Road. Again, that's in Mobile, Alabama. The reason that we're broadcasting from here, it's our 12th National Holy Youth Convocation. Our 12th National Holy Youth Convocation. And this year, obviously, we're convening here on the Gulf Coast in Mobile, Alabama. Now we'd like to present unto you the servant of God, our general overseer, our leader, teacher, guide. He's the messenger of the true and only living God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We are thankful again to the one God for blessing us to be present. We thank him for his divine guidance and his perfect understanding of all things. We thank him for the prophets. We thank him for the apostles. Most of all, we thank him for this wonderful, precious way that he revealed to his servants, which is the way of holiness. It looks beautiful to see all of our brothers and sisters here this evening Amen. in the midst of this youth conference. Uh, to our television viewers, we are grateful to you that are watching and to you that have tuned in around the world we are indebted to god for his goodness and his mercy and his grace unto us we glad for him making provisions for us Amen. to be able to call your attention not just to america mm -hmm. but around the world to god's divine power and god's divine presence and the lessons of god that is written in the scriptures for our learning Amen. The book says, whatsoever things that are written a full time are written for our learning. Amen. Television viewers, as I have said on many occasions, this is the greatest religious program that is in America today. Amen. And the one thing that makes it great isn't me, or isn't Brother Dan, or isn't Brother Williams, or no, no, the no. brothers and sisters that you see. It is the Lord's doing. Oh, yes. And it's glorious and marvelous in our eyes. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. It is our objective, and it has been our objective, and it will remain our objective. The stick to God's eternal word, regardless to who like it or who don't like it. That's right. We are thankful because God is a God that doesn't compromise. Amen. <coughs> what is holiness built upon? There is no God but one. Amen. Amen. He is master of all creation, Lord and ruler of the day of judgment. There is no God with him. Mm -hmm. We associate none with him. There is no God before him. Amen. There is no God after him. Amen. He's God alone. Amen. Amen. We associate none with him. Amen. We have no two or three to wish up, television viewer. Amen. The real people of God, and I have to say this, Amen. the real people of God wish up one. One God. Amen. Did you hear what I said? That's right. I said the real people of God everywhere in the world wish up one. That's right. The book of scripture says, Hear, O Israel. The Lord, our God. Well, that satisfies what I just said. That's right. If you get the language of the book, he said, the Lord, our God. Our making God. reference to God's people. That's right. The Lord, our God, is one. One. Now, he's not a painting in, on your wall. No. Or in your church. He's not on a crucifix. That's right. He's... Fulfill heaven and earth alone, shapeless, formless. Mm -hmm. He fulfilled all things. All things. And he being God, he's able to do all things. That's right. Now, viewers, I emphasize on this because most television programs you watch, God ain't preached. No. I want to get good broken English on you. <laughs> God ain't preached. That's right. <laughs> What have took the place of God in the churches? Prosperity, money, and religious junk. That's right. And this is what most of you viewers, this is the type of church that most of you folks go to. Mm -hmm. Junk churches. Junk. Recycled junk. The church of junk. That's right. Not only in the church, it's in the synagogue and it's in the mosque. Amen. Junk. Amen. Now, the book of scriptures is the map showing us how to get into the kingdom of God right. It's our map. You know, sometimes when you're traveling on the road, you assume that, you know, you stop at a gas station if you're lost. Mm -hmm. The gas attendant, you're just going to know where to direct you. You assume that. That's what most people do. That's why they always ask, you know, well, how do you get here? By the time some of them is done directing you, you're in somebody's tobacco field. That's right. Well, you assume that church know what they're doing. Right. Because they have the name Jesus on the building, and there's a cross, and there's a bell tower. <laughs> Be not deceived. Because a building is called church, mosque, or synagogue. Right. That doesn't mean they know what they're doing. That's right. If you don't believe me, just watch television, turn to BET, TBN, or just fish through the channel of your choice. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Look at all the religious programming. <coughs> Look at them. Hmm. Now, the way it's supposed to be is this. If all the preachers represent the same God, mm -hmm. then every station you turn to, you're supposed to hear the same message. Same message. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. Every preacher that claim he's a born again Christian. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Every last one of you. Amen. Supposed to have the same message Amen. that the apostles had. That's right. If the apostles bowed to one God, you shouldn't be bowing to three. Amen. If the apostles didn't put a color on God, then don't you put a color on him. That's right. It is written, they that wish up God must wish up God in spirit, spirit. and in truth. truth. So I'm glad for our youth conference here in Mobile, Alabama. We have a lot of young people. All of them are not here. <coughs> in fact, 
If all of them was here, they couldn't fit in here. But we are indeed grateful. I want to salute and greet our brothers and sisters in, in West Africa that is listening tonight in Sierra Leone. Also, we want to greet our brothers and sisters in India, you that is in the country of Burma, you that is in the Philippines, you that is in Canada, throughout Africa, throughout North and South Korea and Vietnam and China and South America and the four corners of the earth. This message that God has dropped in my big mouth is ordained to convert man. Amen. That's right. Well, for the conversion of man. That's right. Did you get what I said? Amen. I'm not out for you to love me. No. Let me make that clear. We're not on television to make you my friend. No, no. Whether you love me or hate me, that don't change the truth that we preach. That's right. Now, if I was seeking for men to love us, we wouldn't tell the truth. No. Because viewers, if you look at most preachers, they are afraid to offend people. Oh, yes. <laughs> they are afraid to offend you. Yes. The reason why they are afraid to offend you is because they don't want to lose members. That's right. My greatest fear is losing my soul. That's right. I don't want to go to hell. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Amen. I said, I don't want to go to hell. Me and hell don't have nothing in common. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, sir. Don't have nothing in common. And for that cause. I'll fight anything. I'll fight anybody. I'll fight in any part Amen. of America. That's right. I'll fight any politician from the president down. That's right. And I'll fight any religion. Amen. In other words, I do what it takes to stay on God's side. That's right. Viewers, you're going to church for the wrong purpose. Amen. You're going to church to seek a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Amen. You're going to church to seek girlfriends. That's right. That's right. You're going to church to befriend the preacher. That's right. You're going to church just to join a choir. Amen. You're going to church just to play an instrument. Yes. A church is not for that. No. No, no. Look at the title that it's called House. Mm -hmm. Of God, house of God. Yes. Well, if it's the house of God, then God should be the center mm -hmm. of the house. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. God is the center of the house. Mm -hmm. We worship Him, we bow to Him, we serve Him, him. we follow Him. Follow he him. don't follow us. That's right. That's it right. isn't we do something, we think something, we believe something, then God come after. No. no, no, no. The belief, the standard, the way has been set That's by right. God. That's right. Jesus said, I am, I am the, way. the way. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. I am the way. They rule out anybody's way being justified to exist. That's right. So many of you write me to, from many parts of the world and say, you know, Pastor Jennings, we know you tell them the truth, but you're too mean, you're too rude, you don't have love, you sound very harsh, you're militant. Huh. All right. But when you're done, I'm coming back with the same thing. Same thing. That's right. Let me say this to the media. CNN. MSNBC, Fox, Go ahead. Direct TV, cable, mm -hmm. every politician, Democrat and Republican. Go ahead, brother. There's a religious frenzy going on here in America. Amen. Wherein preachers now are scrutinized mm -hmm. because of what truth they tell. That's right. And I'm listening at CNN and the Situation Room and all these renowned journalists Amen. saying that preachers should not speak against America right. and the government of America. Right. Well, why, that don't, why is it that same theory don't apply to you journalists? Amen. According to the constitu constitution of this country, mm -hmm. we have freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Now I am one man that's not owned by the government of America. That's right. 
Now, I am truly a free man. And I will speak as free and as loud by God permission, regardless to who like it or don't like it. Don't like it. Amen. We will speak out against Bush. That's right. Dick Cheney. That's right. Any and every politician Amen. that's in contradiction of the word of God. Yeah. So now they're saying that if you, it's wrong to do it. Right. I'm a journalist. Mm -hmm. I am a reporter. Reporter. That's right. I report on events of the past. And I report on events of the present. That's right. And I report on events of the future. That's right. Every God sent messenger is a divine journalist. That's right. It is written, who has believed? I'll report. I will what? I'll report. I'm a reporter. That's right. Glory right, to God and Hallelujah. I work for God. That's right. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now, if God tell me, don't you say this, don't you say that, I will apply. You'll apply. That's right. That's right. Don't but if the White House. Go ahead. Or any journalist mm -hmm. or anyone who download our program from around the world on YouTube mm -hmm. get upset over anything of any topic mm -hmm. that you hear us preach, Amen. it doesn't matter. No, sir. It doesn't phase us. That's right. If we make you upset, I can live with that. That's right. Let it be known today. That the truth of God will not bow to nobody. Amen. Amen. We won't bow to nobody demands. No. Did not we straightly command you? I had some former brothers that passed away. They were apostles. And they went through the same thing, you same know. Thing. That's right. In fact, the government of their time, if you read your scripture. Yes. No God sent man spared the government of his time. No, they didn't. America said separation from church and state. Yes. Liars. Lie. Amen. If you separate church from state, it wouldn't be a chaplain in the military. That's right. If you separate religion from politics, then no one should be sweared in no office putting their hands on no Bible. That's right. That's right. It shouldn't be on the money. In God, we trust. We trust. It shouldn't be in the courthouse. In God, we trust. That's right. That's right. What is America? A hypocrite nation. Hypocritical nation. Amen. Now, you preachers that live on the plantation of America Go ahead. who are religious Uncle Toms That's right. and religious handkerchief heads Go ahead. Go ahead. scared to speak out against the ills of America you can't preach and talk about America just reflecting about her good Amen America is a wicked nation. Wicked, amen. What other nation in the world where two men can marry one another? That's right. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. And you wonder why countries call you infidels. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And because of our uncompromising stand mm -hmm. many preachers in America distance themselves from us yes. but God draws closer that's right. to us that's right amen it is written that people shall dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nation that's right who can count the dust of Israel number the fourth part of Israel let me die the death of the righteous and let my last end 
be like his. I want my last end to be like his. Be like who? Be like Jesus. Amen. You preachers that watch us around the world. Go ahead, brother. What are you scared of? Amen. Come out of your Rolls Royce. That's Get it. off your yacht. That's it. And speak the truth. Speak the truth. If they put you in jail, speak the truth. That's right. If they threaten to take your life, speak the truth. Amen. If your congregation leave you, speak the truth. That's right. If you are scared to speak the truth, you have no right to be in the pulpit. Amen. Talk to me. That's right. Why well, any time a man is scared to speak the truth, he should not be a preacher. Be a preacher. Use a disgrace Go ahead. to the Bible. That's right. Use a disgrace to God. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Someone said, you the fighter. Yes, I am. Oh, yes. Fight. fight. I'm sent to fight. Sent to fight. That's Every right. God sent preacher is a fighter. Fight. That's right. God don't send a man to baby the human family. No way. So look at you preachers. Go ahead. You claim you believe God, stand up for him. Stand up, that's right. Don't buckle to the pressure of politicians. Right. Stand up for him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't bow down just to keep a friend. Stand up for him. That's right. Go ahead. Jesus said if I. That's right. Be lifted Hallelujah. up. Be lifted, lifted up. up. From the earth. From the earth. Draw all men. Hallelujah. I draw all men. Unto me. Unto me. That's right. That's true. We got letters out of Egypt. Letters out of Korea. Letters out of other parts of the world, out of Canada. Amen. Thanking God for this uncompromising stand. Amen. The reason why you people love these weak churches because your reverend mm -hmm. give you sugar water. That's right. Make you sugar babies. That's right. Because you got a sugar daddy for sugar your daddy. pastor. Amen. Love that. And you love it. Love to have it so. I ain't sent to pacify nobody. Amen. And when you not worried about trying to pacify people, you really don't care if they love you or hate you. That's right. Because what is your objective? Please God. Amen. Stay on the front line That's right. and just keep fighting. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Stay there. Hallelujah. Take off. Go ahead. And keep fighting. That's it. That's right. If they don't like it, keep fighting. That's right. If they walk out on you, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Amen. It is written, fight the good fight of faith. That's right. Lay hold eternal life. on eternal life. Hold. hold on to it. Hold on. That's right. Don't let it go, church. Hold on to it. Amen. Churches today have took the standard of God and threw it out the window. That's right. We ain't moving. No, no. We ain't budging. That's right. We're going to stick to it. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand right there. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I cannot be bought by nobody. Be bought. That's right. I'm tired of you compromising weak, good for nothing religious leaders Go ahead. who placate the gospel. That's right. Just the gang members. That's right. Bow down to the cry of politicians. That's right. Then when politicians come into your church, you smile. That's you right. buck dance for them. Just That's to get right. a picture. Amen. With the Democrat or some cheap Republican. That's right. That's right. We bow to God and God only. Only. Amen. Now, they call this type of preaching your radical. Radical. Oh, yeah. Call me a fire and brimstone preacher. Amen. You can listen at the media having a frenzy. That's something. You know, I, I told you that somebody will write me asking me my views uh, about Jeremiah Wright. Uh, and they wrote me. Yes. Amen. Pastor Jenny, what do you think of what this man said? Uh, yes. 
He told the truth. America is a racist country. Amen. That's the truth of it. That's the truth of it. Now, I prefer the racism if I'm going to have it and have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Given the racism of the 50s and 60s. Yeah. Because then I know who my enemy is. That's right. But today, the racism has been formed subtle. Oh, yes. Cunning. That's right. Crafty. Mm -hmm. You know, so the excerpts that I heard, writer, mm -hmm. he told the truth. Mm -hmm. He said how God will damn America. That's right. Was he justified? He most certainly was. Amen. Anytime a preacher do not speak out against America mm -hmm. and the world, that's, right. that's not a preacher. That's right. Whenever a country evil outweighs its good, right. the judgment of God will approach that country. That's right. The wicked shall be turned into hell. Don't listen at this. In Psalms 9 and verse 17. So, Ryder, yeah. Jeremiah told the truth. I don't agree with his Trinitarian belief. Right. But what I heard, he told the truth. Amen. God will damn America. All oh, you politicians say, well, America is a beautiful country. America has some good. Oh, yeah. Every country has some good. That's right. But you can't forget the evil. No, you can't. That's true. You criticize terrorist countries. So do I. Mm -hmm. But I would like to know from every politician, how do you define terrorism? Mm -hmm. If your definition of terrorism is the murder of women hmm. and the murder of babies mm -hmm. and bombs of mass destruction mm -hmm. and dropping bombs on countries, Amen. then you have identified America. That's right. That's true. Are you listening? That's right. It is a conflict of interest. Yeah. And it is a strong contradiction that America has towards God. Mm -hmm. So the journalists are saying a preacher should just deal with the Bible and don't deal with politics. There were politicians that were prophets. That's right. In the Bible. That's right. What is a politician? A politician. One that worked for the government with the government and he set policies who you think king david was david that's right he was a king that make him a politician amen what was hezekiah mm -hmm. a politician politician what was amen a politician that's right what was manassas a politician that's right. what was sheba a politician that's right. the difference is when a man of god is a politician. Yeah. He leaned to the policies of God. That's right. That's why if you read the scripture, every righteous king sent for a prophet. That's right. Always did. He wanted to know what thus saith the Lord. The righteous king, he want a prophet. That's right. Because he don't want his policies contradict the Almighty. That's right. A unrighteous king leaned to his own understanding. Amen. That's President Bush. That's right. Go ahead, brother. That's President Bush. Go ahead. That's John McCain, a Republican crook. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. A government of murderers. That's right. That's America. Amen. America mm. is a government yeah. that's ran by terrorists. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Go ahead. I said America Go ahead. is a government ran by terrorists. Amen. Go ahead, Go ahead. Now I know you don't like what I'm saying, but Go do ahead. I even look like I care? Go ahead. Go ahead. Some of you wrote me and said you ain't patriotic. Amen. I most certainly isn't. I've That's never true. been patriotic. Never been that. I don't have a patriotic nerve in me. That's true. Go ahead, man. How can you say this country love God when gays can marry, men can marry men? Amen. 
You saying God, we trust? Let's put it to the test. Put it to the test. If I trust God, I trust God law. That's right. I believe God law. That's now, right. if there's anybody in here getting scared from the message, you can leave now. You know? You can leave now. Because if you are ashamed of God, God is ashamed of you. That's right. And you don't deserve him. Go ahead, brother. I'm not ashamed of nothing God said. Go ahead. Now, you talk about the good of America? All right, America got a lot of good about it. Yeah. But please tell me, like you wrote me and asked me, <clears throat> who am I voting for? Who I endorse? And I don't endorse nobody. Because John McCain, he thinks like a fool. He said if it take a hundred years to keep troops over there, can you imagine the amount of people that'll be killed? My Lord. That's not reasonable thinking. That's right. Some of you wrote me and said I should vote for Barack because he's black. Black is a color, not a qualification. That's right. Barack and Hillary endorse same-sex marriages. Amen. Barack and Hillary have no problem in endorsing two men going to bed, penetrating one another like a man and a woman. I don't endorse Barack. I don't endorse Hillary. Amen. I don't endorse Johnny. Amen. I endorse God. That's right. That's it. Go ahead. God and God only. Go ahead. Moses saying, "You that is on the Lord's side, come, on to me. come to me. Come to me." That's right. Barack have a good formula for the resurrection of the economy of America. But when you resurrect the economy, now you have to deal with morals and ethics. That's right. Please, will you tell me, Democrats, how in the world can you justify? Two men, yeah. two not need big foot men. That's right. Standing in front of a judge. That's right. That's right. And you endorse it. Endorse that. That's right. And now the government endorses so much until they are passing a law making it a criminal act mm. if any religious leader mm. speak against homosexuality he will be charged with a criminal act and thrown in prison my lord <laughs> you can lock us all up right now amen When you take this type of stand, people say you crazy. They don't like it. They don't like you mean. It. That's right. No, the bottom line is this. Right. Either you're fully out for God mm -hmm. or you're not. Or you're not. You can jump around speaking in tongue and foaming at the mouth. So what? That's Either right. you're all out for God or you're not. Or you're not. Either you are set out or you're not. That's right. Either you're with him. Or you against him. Or you're against him. That's right. Amen. That's right. So I do respect the good of this country. We even believe in obeying the law. Whatever. Don't contradict God. That's right. God's first. You preachers, this is what it is. God's first. God's first. That's it. If we petition the government to get a grant to buy property or to build property. But if we got the detour from our scriptural infallible proof, right. our belief detour to get a five million dollar grant, grant, we will remain grassroots and pass up the grant. Amen. For if you're willing to sell out for a dollar That's right. from anybody That's right. at any time, Amen. you're not worthy of God. That's right. But Preachers was, have sold out. Yes, they have. They are afraid to speak out against Bush. That's right. Scared because scared. they got a picture with him. <laughs> That's true. Sell himself. We're not afraid to speak out against anything. No, no. 
If we were, then the title of the telecast would be in vain. Truth of God. That's right. We don't want our young people in the world growing up in a country where giving them another alternative. Mm -hmm. Telling young people in school, now they, they want to make that a curriculum in the schools. Yes. They want to make gay acceptance a curriculum in elementary school, junior high school, and high. Amen. And all the preachers are sleeping. They're sleeping. Yeah. Spending five and ten million dollars a month broadcasting. That's right. And won't say a thing. Won't say anything. But God got a miracle with your name on it. That's right. And just keep grinning. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Making it a curriculum. So that means this. Your children that goes to grade school will be taught. Little boys and little girls will be taught that if you become grown men one day, young boy, you don't have to marry a woman. That's right. You can marry another boy. Gonna start teaching you this junk That's in right. first grade, second grade, third grade. You think I'm gonna keep quiet? Amen. I got four boys, not four faggots. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got three girls, not three dykes. Amen. Preach it. Preach it. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. And when you preach and tell folk the truth, they cuss you out. Yes, they will. But this is becoming a school curriculum. Yeah. Here in the country that says, in God we trust. God we trust. That's right. That's right. I thank God for this truth. Amen. Because you can't get this program mixed up with nothing. No, you can't. I want God as a friend. That's right. Not an enemy. Not an enemy. I'd rather have people as an enemy because they don't mount to nothing. That's right. But to have God as an enemy. That's right. I ain't God what he can do to you. To you. Is unmeasurable. Right. Amen. It is time to stop floating around church hopping. That's right. Picking up one false concept after the other. That's right. Either you're going to stick with God or you're not. Well, you're not. Ain't no such thing. We all God's children. That's a lie. That's a lie. Amen. There are two sects of children in the earth. That's right. God's children and the children of wrath. That's right. And it's written, ye are of your father, the devil. The, devil. the scripture talks about the children right. of disobedience. disobedience. That's right. We all are God's children. <laughs> no, we are not. No, we're not. God's children don't bow to statues. That's right. God's children are not polytheistic. Amen. We're not idol worshippers. No. We don't pray to a crucifix. That's right. We don't pray to Mary. That's right. We don't pray to the rat. Amen. We don't pray to Buddha. Yes. We don't wish up a picture of Muhammad. That's right. God's people don't bow to a picture of some man who's supposed to be Jesus. Go ahead. Not Go ahead. God's people. Not God's people. Are you listening? That's right. All right, we well, let's go to work in the scriptures. Open the book anyway, and let's get busy. Hosea chapter 4 and at verse 1. Listen. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children. Mm -hmm. Children. Children. God's children. That's it. Brothers and sisters and viewers, ladies and gentlemen, friends, and to my loyal watching enemies. Amen. I want to talk to you and your children. The condition of our young people in America today is sad. Oh, yeah. Because America is a bad influence mm -hmm. on the children oh, yes. of this nation. That's right. They're not getting no better. No. They promote wickedness. Hmm. And if you stand for righteousness, they will labor to destroy your name. That's true. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of Pastor Jennings. The word of the Lord. That don't that, that, that mean my word don't mean nothing. That's right. 
Don't blame me for the contents of the book. Amen. People say, well, just stick to what you believe. Just preach your belief. Don't worry about nobody else. It don't, it's not that easy. Oh, no. No. no way. Because if you preach what's written, mm -hmm. then you're going to end up criticizing somebody else. That's right. <laughs> because what God says, criticize everybody. Everybody. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy. Yes. All right, journalists, mm -hmm. politicians, Amen. the most high, mm -hmm. Hath the a Lord of the world, got a complaint. That's right. With what? With the inhabitants of the land. With the inhabitants of the land. What is the argument? Because there is no truth. Uh-oh. That's it. That ingredient helps. That's it. Amen. Are you listening at this? Amen. God of heaven said there is no what? There is no truth. No truth. Truth. No truth. What else is the problem? No mercy. No mercy. No knowledge nor of God. Knowledge of God in the land. Amen. 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 Young people. Young people. Regardless of what the government allow. Regardless of what the schools teach. You young girls, moreover, is being attracted to your school girlfriends. That's right. You young boys in middle school, I That's see right. you getting traits of a woman. That's right. You young boys now want to arch your eyebrows. Amen. You want to wear earrings. Mm. My young girls in America and in church, mm -hmm. the pregnancy rate of single young girls have gotten far out of hand. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I say, well, the parents tell them they'll do better. Yes, There's a whole lot of parents that are telling them. That's right. You young girls. That's right. 13, 14, yes, 15. Yes, Keep your legs shut. That's right. That's right. You young boys. Can't even hardly aim at your toilet. <laughs> Keep your zipper up. Keep that up. Am I right? That's right. Now, that's right. In some cases, mm -hmm. the parents is giving leeway. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. You don't tell your child not to run with boys, mm -hmm. but then tell her if. You're going to do it. Yeah. If. No, you, you're giving them leeway. That's right. You just keep the message one way. And if they detour, they cannot blame you. That's right. Look at the pregnancy rate of American young girls. Amen. And many of them will never become wives. Yeah. You don't let your body be a station stop. For a line full of men, That's like right. they suffering from the Great Depression in a suit line. Amen. Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. If a young girl fornicate, yeah. have a child out of wedlock, mm -hmm. the scripture called the child a bastard. Bastard. That's right. Now. You don't have a baby shower for a bastard. Go ahead. Am I right? Go ahead. You don't praise that. That's right. That's right. That's right. I didn't say don't make provisions for the child, but you don't praise that. That's right. You young, incompetent, jobless boys. Amen. Who just want to spill your sperm and every girl you see? Mm -hmm. And you can't even buy a roll of toilet paper. Go ahead. To Go clean ahead. your own backside. Go ahead. How in the world can you take care of a child? That's right. That's and right. you can't take care of yourself. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. What is the problem? Years ago, 
There was shame, That's right. there was shame of being pregnant That's right. That's right. and not married. That's right. Today it is no shame. That's right. So in order for the pregnancy rate to stop, some shame, shame. first got to exist. That's right. If thy daughter Where be shameless, there is no shame. There is a large gain. That's right. That's right. Now, listen at the book. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 26. We want to get raw with you. Amen. This is a youth conference. That's right. That's right. It's for you too, viewer. Mm -hmm. You parents let your girl spend the night and she only 14 over some boy house. Yeah. You let your boyfriend spend the night. My God, it don't make no sense. Anytime a father got to argue with the mother of the children right. about putting clothes on his own daughter. That's right. Because some of you sick mothers Amen. let your daughters go out with their breasts hanging out. Amen. Backside showing. Amen. And you got the audacity to say it look cute. She looked like a class A USDA neighborhood home. That's right. That's right. Where is the pride at? Where's the pride? Go ahead. It don't make no sense. You walk the street with your breast hanging out. That's right. You mean to tell me your intelligence is that bad? Amen. You got to show your breast and your behind to catch a man? Go ahead. If you caught a man by revealing your behind, you ain't got nothing. Nothing. That's right. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Amen. That's right. If any of you is offended, <laughs> if any of you watching is offended, then turn it off. Turn it off. Truth, truth is truth. Truth right. is truth. That's right. Look at the pregnancy rate of America. Go ahead. When I was in Europe, mm -hmm. Parliament mm -hmm. passed a bill, mm -hmm. made it law that young girls. If they have a baby and not married, the government will give them a house. Lord. Now, many young girls in Europe use that as an escape to leave home. Amen. They went and got pregnant and the government gave them a house. As a result of the ignorance of parliament, the pregnancies throughout Europe went out of control. Lord. See, this is ain't preached in churches. No. You're too busy singing, God ain't dead. He's yet alive. I can feel him That's in my right. hands, and I can feel him in my feet, and I can feel him right. all over me. All over uh -huh, me. Yeah, all right. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. You know I ain't preaching to be loved. I don't know. I told my daughters, I'm not ready to be a grandfather. That's right. Unless you marry. That's right. That's right. That's right. I told my daughter, I don't want no bastards in this house. Go ahead. Straight up. Go ahead. I leave the dialogue very open where my daughters can talk to me about anything. That's right. Even though they're being raised up in the truth, mm -hmm. it is common for a young girl to be interested in boys. I expect that interest. That's right. That's right. I'm not so caught up in the book, I'm stupid. That's right. I expect for a young girl to be interested in young boys. I expect young boys to be interested in young girls. But what is our job? Guide. 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 The interests. That's right. Teach them how to govern. That's right. The interests. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. 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 Teaching. The teachings. So my daughter come to me and talk to me. Daddy, I want to talk to you. You know, I like this boy and whatnot. And I listen. Before I say anything, I'm listening. I'd rather for her to tell me to go run and tell somebody else. That's right. And this is where many of you church parents have messed up. That's right. That's right. You just can't teach your children about Jesus. That's right. And Paul and Moses. Amen. These children ain't walking around in the spirit 24 hours a day. That's right. Teaching. When your daughter talk to you, listen, I'm attracted to boys. Don't go tell them I don't want to hear it. You're running from reality. Amen. 
The teaching. Deal with it. That's right. Good teaching. Listen to it. That's right. That's right. Good teaching. Good teaching. Oh, I'm telling the truth. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. It's wonderful. You mean to tell me you in the truth so much? Your own son and daughter can't talk to you? Go ahead. About what they're struggling with? Yeah. You are becoming incompetent. That's right. As a parent. As a parent. Parent is more than buying them stockings. Yes, sir. I'm buying them panties and drawers. That's right. And training underwear. Go ahead, brother. Parent is counseling. That's right. You must stand in an advisory capacity. Go ahead. Be ready for every good work. That's right. Mm. Let the children have the privilege to state their disagreement with you. That's right. I'd rather for my child to voice their disagreement with me than to act out their disagreement. That's right. Go ahead. You think your child disagree with you all the time? We didn't disagree, we didn't agree with our parents all the time. Right. No, we did not. not and some of us would not be reaping today things we have sold years ago if your father and your mother would have set you down and gave you privilege to talk. That's right. That's good teaching. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you see the advice you gave your children was wrong, Amen. don't be too proud to come back and tell them, I made a mistake. Amen. Amen. That's the way to do it. Tell them, I made a mistake. I gave you the wrong advice. Right. If you walk around as a parent, I can never be wrong. You're wrong right there. That's right. The only one that can never be wrong is the most high. That's right. Mm. You can look at yourself as a parent and look back on some of the decisions you made. And if you had to do it again, you'd be like, you know what? I wouldn't do that. That's right. No, if I had to do this again, I wouldn't do that. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to me? Good teacher. Good teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It is more than having your children in a prayer meeting at home. It is more than sending your children down and reading to them the scriptures. That's right. Remember, Amen. as they grow older, they're going to be exposed to everyday life. That's right. That's right. Now, sometimes the father say, well, my daughter, she ain't allowed to talk to me about boys. Uh, my wife's going to take care of that. Your wife ain't had that child by herself. Amen. You help make it, so you got to help shape it. That's right. The teaching of the child shapes and molds the mind and the characteristics of that child. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I, I, I teach my child the truth. She don't lust. You's a fool. That's a fool. That's right. Was you not that age? Amen. <laughs> Go ahead. Were you not that age? Go ahead. Did you not lust? Oh, yes. Do you still not lust? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Natural affection. That's right. Natural affection. You young girls. Go ahead. Who want to have babies and you just a baby yourself. Amen. Amen. Mm. Many of you parents watching. Some of you are on the job and you're telling your daughters and sons the right thing. Mm -hmm. Some of them still disobedient. Yeah. They make their bed hard and they got to lay on it. Yeah, lay on it. What do you mean? If your young daughter go out and get pregnant, don't let her dump the baby on you, mother. That's right. If she, dis if she rearrange her life at 15 and 16 and 17, then she going to learn That's right. the lessons of a mother. Amen. She gonna get up every time the baby yell. That's right. Mama, don't run to her. Well, I know you tired. You lay down. Like oh no, 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 no. You wasn't tired when you was laying there making it. Go ahead. Now I know this may sound mean, but it doesn't matter. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. 
Then this way, many of you mothers make the mistake. That's right. Daughters get pregnant. Mom, I'm tired. I'm worn out. All right, stay up. Stay up. I can't sleep. You will get yours. That's right. Feed the child. Change them diapers. Oh, yeah. Wash it. Mother got to teach the daughter. Mm -hmm. She rearranged her life. Now she got to bear the pain. Yeah. Young boys. Go ahead. You don't go out making babies and then walk around like you don't have none. That's right. You don't have a job. That's right. You don't keep your drawers on anyway. Mm -hmm. This is straight talk. Yeah. And then we, we are family here. Oh, yes. And I'm going to talk to my family as clear and direct as I want to. That's right. This That's is right. a family affair. Amen. Yeah. Go ahead. Young brothers. Not married. We ain't got no job. I don't even know what marriage is. That's right. Can't tell a toothpick from a twig. Amen. How is a young boy, 15 and 16 years old, got about eight babies? Oh, That's true. Like a jackrabbit. That's right. Hop along, Cassidy. That's right. What makes this happen in some cases? In some cases, they didn't come from a home. That's right. They came from a playground under a roof. That's right. It is a saying that the apple don't fall too far from the tree. That's true sometimes. Sometime. Not all the time. Mm -hmm. The reason why not all the time, because if you look at some children the way they are, you wouldn't believe the type of parents they have. That's right. There are some children so wicked but if you meet their parents, you wouldn't think that that mother produced that devil. That's right. That's right. You'll be like, are you sure? Are you sure? You know, well, did someone switch y'all up in the, you know, in the hospital? Amen. Was it prolonged in the incubator or something? <laughs> but then you got some parents that are so wicked, but yet they have some children that are righteous. Yeah. And want to live right. Mm -hmm. And you be like, they your parents? <laughs> yeah, you sure? You wasn't adopted? <laughs> That's right. That's Some right. of these young brothers is beating up women. Because right. yeah. many of you just been around your daddy beating up your mama. That's right. Some say, I can't help it. You can help it. Help it. You don't have to put your hands on no woman. Yeah. That's right. You don't beat the woman. No. No, no. Are you listening to me? Amen. You that are watching, don't beat your wife. Don't beat your wife. Don't verbally abuse your wife. That's right. I'm going to tell your wife she ain't nothing. That's right. As if you so much. Amen. Brother, don't you ever compare your wife to some other woman. That's right. How would you like it if she compare you to some other man? Some man. And she tell you, well, look, you don't do it right. You, you don't do it like Paul did it. Oh, my Lord. That going to make him jump up. What you say? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Woman, love yourself. Respect self. Yeah. Wherein you can demand that man, whoever he think he is, mm -hmm. you can demand for him to respect you. That's right. But if a woman use a man, yeah. you don't respect yourself. No. Use him, just see what she can get out of him. Mm -hmm. Like a leech. Oh, yes. Use him to get that amount of money out of him. Mm -hmm. Then when she sees that, he ceased from giving. Yeah. Before he stopped, she going to already start sucking the blood out of somebody else. That's right. And when that vampire drained him dry, before he died, mm -hmm. 
she going to start biting on someone else's wallet. That's right. Until it will become a custom and a tradition. Amen. It's the same way with some men. If a man got a mind to marry, mm -hmm. let me say this to my sisters. Mm -hmm. I want to make this very plain. Not just you that are here, but you that are watching. Mm -hmm. Woman, if you're interested in any man, yeah. got a mind to marry him. Mm -hmm. You don't buy a house mm -hmm. and tell him to live in it right. until you get married. Amen. What right. in the world are you doing making provisions for him? That's right. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. You don't buy a house and say, "Well, why don't you live there?" You know, and you know, I, and you know, you until you get on your feet. I already got a place. I buy a place, and you get in it. Get in you it. know, and because you can't afford, if he can't afford no place for himself, mm -hmm. then he can't afford no place for you. Amen. That's right. That's right. Look at our teacher, Jesus. Mm -hmm. He said, I go to prepare a place, a place for you. Isn't that what he said? That's what he said. For you. He didn't leave it for the bride to prepare a place for him. No, no way. That's right. Look at the condition of our young people. Don't even know what to marry. That's true. Don't know what to marry. That's right. <laughs> Good gracious. Don't know what to marry. Amen. If the lessons how to walk is given and you refuse to walk, you can't blame the lesson. No, no. Are you listening? That's right. A man that's a real man want to marry a, a real thoroughbred woman. Am I right, men? Yeah. Oh, talk back to me. Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. Now, a woman that's intelligent, intelligent and wise and have good common sense, good sense will not be interested in any manner and in any form mm -hmm. and in any way in a man that's more dainty than she is. That's right. That's right. That's See, right. I expect my wife to, you know, when she she's feminine. You know, when she come in the kitchen, she's feminine. She's. Sometimes she's standing just talking to me. Now, I don't need for both of us to be like that. No, no. That's right. That's right. Too much. Too much. Are oh, you listening right. to the old man? Amen. On the other hand, no need for no brother. Mm -hmm. Why will a man want to marry a woman that strolled harder than he? Amen. <laughs> She's talking to him. Well, hey, what's up, brother? You know what I'm saying? You know, you're on your way to church tonight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Hey, well, you know what? You stop by and pick me up for church, man. This is a sister. That's a sister. That's you right. go and pray with me tonight. You know, would you call on Jesus? He will ask you to pray. You know what I'm saying? And she laughing. <laughs> Go ahead, man. That's That's a sister. Sister. Work on. This is a sister. That's a sister. That's right. Yes, sir. The sister, whenever you sit, if there's a brother next to you, go ahead, brother. Don't ever sit with your legs out. Mm -hmm. If you're on the front row, mm -hmm. don't never sit with your legs extended. That's right. Keep them legs drawn in. Drawn in. Don't ever show your legs. That's right. Keep them drawn in. Right. I expect for sisters to sit like this. That's right. Not brothers. Not brothers. <laughs> and then you get in the spirit. Hallelujah. <laughs> you too sweet. 
Too sweet for that. That's right. Too sweet. Why do we constantly preach this? Go ahead, man. This is a spirit. Amen. That contaminates and destroy the divine intelligence that is in people. That's right. God made man and woman. Anything in between, Satan created. Satan made that. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. If anyone is offended, I'm all right. Amen. If you're looking for an apology, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. News journalists have said anytime a preacher speak out against America and this good country, people should never go to that church. Well, if that's the case, you should never watch your station. That's right. See, if that's the case, if you're going to encourage people, CNN, the MSNBC, and you other network stations, if you're going to encourage people that go to church to leave a church, if their religious leader speak out against America, mm -hmm. then they ought to turn every news station off. Amen. Because when news come across these stations in America, all the news is not all good. The news. That's right. When you politicians report events that take place in America, mm -hmm. all things you report is not good. No way. But what is your job? Tell the truth anyway. Tell the truth. That's right. The condition of this country and the condition of the churches, the churches today in America have failed. They failed. They have failed. Oh, yes. They're lifting up everything other than God. They have failed. They failed. We are determined not to be a failure in God. That's right. There's no failure in God. That's right. We want to lift up. Lift up. Lift up the Lord. Ourselves in behalf of God. Yeah. And to do that, one must change their method of thinking. That's right. You young women in America that are watching me, black, white, yellow, red, Asian, I don't care what color you are, mm -hmm. you must respect the fact and recognize the fact mm -hmm. that yes, it is wrong right. to be pregnant mm -hmm. and you're not married. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. See what T.D. Jakes tell you that. Right. See what Cruffalo Dollar or Benny Hill Amen. or Benny Hinn. <laughs> See what Joel Austin. That's right. The grinning preacher. The grinning preacher. Do he tell you that? That's right. Yes, it is wrong. It's wrong to be pregnant. That's right. You're not married. Not married. That's right. And you have to look at it as what it is. What it is. Wrong. It's wrong. That's right. Until because if you look at it today, hey. A lot of young women getting pregnant, black, white, Hispanic, and everything. But you know what? Most cases, you can't find a father. Right. No, you can't. That's the truth. I don't know where he at. That's right. Don't know who he is. Don't know who he is. That's true. I dealt with the case where the woman. <laughs> She had a blood test by 10 men that she thought were justifiable candidates. Lord. And nobody blood matched. Mm. So the hunt is still on. Still on. What a disgrace. Amen. I'm not trying to embarrass you. No. No. What are we trying to do? Now slow down the epidemic. Stop it. Stop it. You slow it down, it's still happening. That's right. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Because it's been, we don't want our women. When I say our women, I mean those that love God and fear God of every race in the world. We don't want you to keep becoming an epidemic. That's right. And adding to the problem of America. That's right. That's right. Don't look for the government to rectify your problem. That's right. Amen. 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 Children programs today promotes Amen. curiosity. Amen. Children programming promotes no fear of pregnancy. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
They got all these court TV mm. programs on. Mm. All right. The program, I one court television program, I happened to come in the kitchen, my wife was watching. I said, what are they talking about? She said, you got to see this. There was a woman from a foreign country ridiculing her teenage daughter for dressing like a prostitute. Mm -hmm. So she showed the picture of her daughter. I believe her daughter was about 13 or 14, but on the picture she didn't look it. Because you know young girls today, 13, look like they're about 20. Yeah. And... The mother said to the judge, I won't tolerate my daughter looking like a whore. Mm -hmm. And showed a picture with her daughter with something cut down the head. The judge said, well, ma'am, I don't know what culture you're from, but your daughter don't look like a whore because her breasts out. Mm -hmm. That is from a judge. judge. And she was a woman. Mm -hmm. Today, the parents don't see nothing wrong with their children out in public That's right. naked. That's right. That's right. You church people that are watching me now, you just got in from church, and some of you are getting dressed on your way to church. Mm -hmm. Woman, look at what you're wearing. Look at it. That's right. Hold it now. Watch me this morning. That's right. Look at what you're wearing. Right. You got a halter on. You're on your way to church. Right. Church. That's right. Or you got a blouse about deep as my jacket. Right. Showing your cleavage. Amen. And now you have the audacity to criticize that deacon for looking at you. That's right. Dress your turkey. That's right. Cover it up. Cover it up. Cover it up. Then you ain't showing nothing for him to look at. That's right. Because the nature of a man is to go back where he come from. Amen. Is that right? That's right. I, the nature of a man is to go back. You heard Nicodemus. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You heard. How can I end up back? You heard That's Nicodemus. Right. That's right. Back into my mother's womb. God, Nicodemus, Jesus trying to tell him something, put him on the right track. That's right. It's got to be born again, born Nick. Born again. Nicodemus, you got to be born again. That's Water right. and spirit. How can a man? Hey, Jesus, what you talking about? Amen. How can a man be born when he is old? Be born when he is old. Can he enter can, the second can time? He try to go back into his mother's womb. Where he come from? And be born. That's man's nature. That's right. That's his nature. That's right. Man is made to go back where he come from. That's right. Go ahead, brother. I want to say, well, I ain't made like that. Well, you a faggot. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead. A man that's a real, a man, real man, that's the way he's made. That's right. That's why he get married. That's right. He want to go back. Go back. Where he came from. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right, man? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ain't a real man, and of course, well, you got inordinate affection. Inordinate. But a man that's a real man, he want to go back. Go back. Where he come from. That's right. Where he go, he want to go right back home. That's right. I <laughs> got he talked to a woman, he encouraged her. Show me the way home. <laughs> show me the way home. Just show me how to get there. <laughs> hmm? That's right. Man is on a down low. He don't want to know how to get on. No, he want he want to find an empty lot. Go ahead, bro. He want to find an empty lot where he can go through the back door. Go ahead. A man want a man. Man want a man that want a man want to come up some other way. A man want a man. All these women in the world, and you want a man. Want a man. Amen. He, the, even the book says seven women shall take hold of one man. One man. man. Seven women. Book let you know. Plenty of women in the world. Many. And here all these women, a man walk by all of them. And blowing a kiss at a man. <laughs> Wicking his eye at him.
Go ahead. Are you listening at the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Leaving the natural use of the woman. This is good. Oh, yeah. Woman is a natural use. Natural use. Hmm? That's right. Another man that's not a natural use. Mm -hmm. not the Democrats endorse the unnatural, unnatural. use. That's right. Yes, they do. The Democratic Party endorses the unnatural use of a woman. My Lord. Pastor Jennings, are you against gay rights? It depends what right you're talking about. That's right. That's right. They got a right to eat. <laughs> they got a right to sleep. They got a right to work. Yeah. They got a right to wash. They got a right to talk. Right. Got a right to walk. That's right. Got a right to use the bathroom. That's right. But they don't have the right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. To marry a man. You don't have that right. And you a man. That's right. You don't have that no, right. that's a right you are fighting for. Right. Yeah. And now the reason why religion won't speak out against it. Because the gays, their money is green too. That's right. That's right. That's true. Their money is green too. That's right. That's something. Are you listening to the old man? That's something. The book says what? Come on, son. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. What is it? Because there is no truth. No truth. Nor mercy. No mercy. Nor knowledge of God in the land. There is no knowledge of God in the land. So if you look at religion from a biblical perspective, God ain't being taught. No. no. <laughs> you look at these churches, folks, from our song, let's have they let's put our praise on. That's right. Everyone just singing, Hallelujah. Everybody's singing. Rocking like they're on a the boat. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's right. The women got their hand up. Hallelujah. Men got their hand up. Hallelujah. The gays got their hand up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. So, you got religion. Ordaining them to be preachers. Somebody wrote me and said, Pastor Jennings, I know it's wrong. I'm a single parent. I know it's wrong to commit fornication. But what would you do with the sister after she had the child? Would you constantly hold it against her? I can't. Because if she repent, I never keep holding that against her. What's done is done. But now I got to teach her how to be a right parent to that child. That's right. What do you mean? If a woman commit fornication, it's not going to stop me from preaching against it. No. But if I already dealt with you one on one and dealt with that man one on one, I'm not going to keep holding that over your head. That's right. No, I'm not going to do that because that's not the right thing to do. No. So now you got to go on to the next stage. Learn how to be a parent. That's it. And not to make that rehearsal. That's right. That's right. Now, let me say this. Because a lot of folk become hypocritic, hypocritical judgmental. What do you mean? Here you have some women who would look down on a sister that got pregnant. Mm -hmm. But you didn't get pregnant. Mm -hmm. But you've still been busy. That's right. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Amen. That's the truth of it. Amen. You know, you've still been busy, but you just didn't get pregnant. Yeah. Still equal. Still equal. It's just one sin went beforehand, another sin came on after. Came after. That's all. That's all. Do you understand? That's right. That's Glory right. to God. Amen. Listen at this. Because there is no truth. Now, my young sisters that have got pregnant. Mm -hmm. If a young sister asks you, you know, you know what it's like, don't, don't, don't dress it up. Don't encourage them to try it. That's right. Let them know, no, I was wrong for what I've done. It was wrong. That's right. Because any young girl that's able to look back on what she's done, she'll tell you, it's hard being a single parent. Oh, yeah. It's hard. Oh, yeah. 
It is hard being, a, ain't no easy job. No way. Now let me say this to my women that are single parents. Regards to how hard it is, don't stoop low and become desperate. That's right. And pick up any so-called good sounding offer. Right. That come along. That's right. Open. Did you hear what I said? That's right. If you're a single parent, don't become so desperate. Because some man sweet talk you. That's right. Well, you know, I, I, I take care of your baby, you know. I do it, you know. I be the father, you know. I be this and I'll be that. Hmm. You're just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> I'll be this. Oh, yeah, yes. I'll be the other. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for answering my prayer. <laughs> That's right. Before you make a declaration, God answered a prayer. Hmm. You first better wait. Better wait. Because to say God done something is not like saying a man done something. That's right. Before you get married, wait. I'm a firm believer that you should see him at his potential point of anger. Yeah. That's right. See, is he going to do this? That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. See, is he going to step to you like a man, throw his hands in your face? That's right. Now, some women are just stupid. What do you mean? A woman is stupid when a man do that and she say, well, that's just his way. His way. That's the way, that's the way. Uh, he showed love. I can change him. He's a grown man. Grown man. That's right. Amen. And if he's already talking to you like you a man and got his hands in your face and bumping you like you from the hood, mm -hmm. and if you call that love, you are desperate. That's desperate. Yes, sir. You're hot and desperate. Amen. That's right. Because a real woman respects herself and won't tolerate being beat by some man. That's right. Drive not a man you. beat you, he don't respect you. He don't respect you. Are you listening to me? That's right. You walk around with swollen lips, hurt ribs, and bruised up. That's right. Man. That man don't respect you. If any man here yeah. beat women, you're no good. No good. You ain't no good. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you beat your wife. You're no good as a man. Amen. In fact, you're incompetent. Amen. And you're weak. Weak. And you're no good. No good. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, I don't brother. care if you're following me. Right. You beat a woman. Right. You're a bum. That's a bum. You're no good. You're a no good bum. That's right. Speak it all the it tongues you want. Make it sound. You're an incompetent, lazy, no good bum. That's a bum. Use a sissy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's a right. church going bum. A, bum. a Bible reading bum. That's right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. You don't beat no woman. Teach Go ahead. Go ahead. That's the truth of it. That's right. Go ahead. You don't step to no woman like a man. That's right. Pushing her, you better go ahead, girl. You better go ahead. You don't know who you bother with. You better go ahead. That's right. Because you may push the wrong girl. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> oh yeah. See, there's there's some girls you can do that too. They're running. <laughs> Then some girls you do that too? Okay. All right, let's get busy. Let's get busy. Yeah, roll on you, man. That's right. And then some girls you do that too? What? Oh, what? Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wouldn't dare fight the woman that's cooking my food, man. No way. Oh, you know you ain't got good sense. That's right. 
You're going to fight the woman that's cooking your food? That's Amen. Right. God mess around you wake up your head swole like a watermelon. <laughs> Go ahead. The abuse of women mm. is another thing that is on the rise here in America. That's right. It is running rampant. Oh, yeah. Women beat down like dogs. That's women. True. And this is being done by church going men. That's right. That's right. That's right. Beating them with their fists. That's something. Mm. And this stuff is not hardly taught in nobody's church. That's right. There's something. Some of you pastors that watch me, you beat your wife. Yeah. Amen. Let me talk to you, so called first lady. The <laughs> only reason why you keep going to your husband's old false church because he got you scared. Yeah. Yeah. Leave that devil's church. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. It is written, turn around. Turn around. Come out the of the host. host. Get out of it. It doesn't prove your manhood beating a woman. Mm -hmm. And let me say to all women, don't you sit there and let some man beat you. That's right. You can disagree without being violently disagreeable. That's right. Me and my wife don't agree all the time. Mm -hmm. No, that's natural. That's right. You know, folks get ignorant. You mean, you mean to tell me Pastor Dennis' wife don't agree all the time? No. <laughs> Hello? That's right. That's right. That's right. Anybody home? Anybody home. There's boxes in the attic, but That's right. they're empty. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it ain't a married man in this building. If you tell the truth, him and his wife is on the same page oh, all the time. No way. No way. Is that right, brother? Yeah. Amen. You know, you wish you can be on the same page That's right. <laughs> all the time. All the time. But you're not going to be on the same page all the time. That don't mean you love her less. That's right. But now there's a problem. Yeah. Love must be proven. That's right. How can you convince your woman you love her and every time she turn around is nothing but verbal abuse? Verbal abuse. That's right. Every time. Every time. She have a baby or children for you and pick up weight, then all of a sudden you want to complain about her weight. That's right. Go ahead. Talk to me. Go ahead. Go and tell her, you need to work out, but you blowing up. That's right. She first married you, you was like, you know, after you got married and started eating, you started, you know. She hung between life and death right. to birth these right. children in the world for you. Right. Do you understand? That's right. Now you want to make her feel less than nothing. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. But truly he will lay up thy words. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes. We're covering a lot of territory. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dealing with everyday life. That's true. Good Listen. Ecclesiastes chapter 13 in verse 12. Yes. But truly he will lay up thy words. Yes. And will not spare to do thee hurt. Amen. Cruelly. Cruelly. He will lay up for thee words. Yeah. Amen. Listen, man, you don't shoot the esteem of your wife down. That's right. It is hypocritical for us as men to get upset with our woman if we're arguing and she walk out the door and close the door. But yet we won't sit and stand and listen to her when she's talking to us. Right. If she walk right. out on us, we don't got the right to get upset. If we're doing the same thing. That's right. In a relationship, it ain't no one man talking. You may as well just get it in your head. That's just the truth of it. But you know the, the nature of man. Man. A lot of us, we don't want to hear no woman. Is that the truth, man? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the truth, man? Yeah. Amen. 
Come on now, is that the truth? Amen. That's the nature of a man. I'm not saying be a henpeck now. That's right. That's another problem. That's another problem. That's another issue. Another problem. That's right. Here, you got, here, here we got service, and you're going to ask your wife, hey, hey, you staying in service? What do you mean, she's staying? <laughs> you the one brought her? That's What's right. the matter with you? That's right. Go ahead, brother. You, you're going you gonna to stay for the next service? I go home if you go home. It's up to you. What? <laughs> go ahead. It's up to you. I mean, a lot of these young men today, they're wise rulers. That's right. You won't take no stand. Go ahead. You let your wife run the whole house, run over you. See, there's some women come from a house where their mother was ruling. Right. And if you marry a woman like that, man, it got to be some changes. That's right. And sometimes there are some women, they don't mean to be the head. Mm -hmm. But if you don't step up to the plate, right. somebody going to do something. That's right. And that's the truth of it. That's right. I mean, it's sad when women got to complain to me because their husband won't be a man. Amen. We teach to make soldiers. Right, that's right. Am I right? Amen. Amen. There's no need for no brother following me in America or any place of the world to be a hen pet. Amen. 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 We ain't got no chicken farm. That's right. Amen. This ain't no chicken house. That's right. That's right, sir. Go ahead, brother. Wife tell you, don't go to church. Don't go to church. I don't get along with that sister. That's your problem. That's your problem. Then you get it straightened out with the sister. That's right. Then you got brothers that minister. One of them like my brother, Kenneth. Wife tell him, look, I'm not going to church. Me and that sister don't get along. If I'm not going, you ain't going either. Amen. And if Kenneth called me, yo, general overseer, I'm, I'm not going to church today. I'm like, what's up, man? Well, you know. My wife ain't getting along with that sister, so, you know, I'm going to stay here. He's fired. Fire. On the spot. That's right. Because he's putting her above God. That's right. Good up now thy loins like a man. Amen. Are you listening? Job 38 and verse 3. A man that a stand up. Do you know how? Listen. <laughs> you know why a lot of women is not married today? Because they can't find a man. That's right. The book says, find me a man. Find, find me a man. There's a shortage of men. Shortage. There's some women today, if they had to get married again, they won't do it. No. That's true. No. That's right. That's right. God, they're shouting church all day first. <laughs> Because it's sad to get married to what is called a man. Called a man. And then find out it's not a man. That's right. It's called that because it's a male. That's right. Are you listening? That's true. You know, you be a backbone. You have a backbone, man. Yeah. Let your wife control you and rule you and use a yes man. Yes. I don't even want yes men following me. That's right. That's right. If a brother disagree with me, I can respect the fact he's well, pastor. You know, I disagree with you. Amen. That's right. Then tell me why you disagree. Just do it respectfully. Respectfully. That's right. You don't want to be no yes man. Yes. Your husband is up. Your wife is upset in church. Listen, I ain't staying here. I'm going home, and you better come home too. Well, you know, Pastor Jennings, you know, something came up. Something came up, Pastor Jennings. You know, I get together with you later on, you know. Something came up. That's right. You ought to put your wife's dress on. Go ahead. I'm hard on henpecked men. Amen. 
there's a shortage of men as it is. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No excuse for a man to be a hen peck in this church. No, no way. Wife, we don't leave church. You leave. Leave us. Well, I want to keep peace in the home. Keep peace. I don't want to keep peace in the home because man, my wife get angry. Oh boy, she she tied the house up. So what? That's true. Why is it she can't pull you off the job? Go ahead. Your weakling. Go ahead. Why she can't pull you off the job? Amen. Brother Amen. But she can pull you out of church. That's church. But she outweighs the job. Amen. That's right. Go ahead, brother. It is written, show yourself a man. Gird up now thy loins like a man. Do what? Gird up now thy loins like a man. Gird up your loins like what? Like a man. Do it like what? A man. Like what? A man. Like what? A man. Like what? A man. <laughs> Gird up thy loins. <laughs> you can see some sister laying their husband out. Come on, let's come on, let's get it. Good staying in church. And she walking out the door. And he's like, Well, you know, I, I gotta hurry up, brother. I gotta hurry up. I gotta hurry up. Use an insult to That's God. That's an insult. You're supposed to be made in God's image. Amen. That's right. That's right. Your wife got problems with sisters in the church, then let her deal with it. Amen. 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 Like my wife, mm -hmm. she got problems with sisters in the church, she got to go to them herself. That's right. She have no outlet because I'm her husband. That's right. Not a drop. Amen. If she come to me, you know, you know, this sister. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you go to her? No, don't talk to me. That's right. Well, you're my husband. The book says. Go ahead. If you got her up, go, go to, to her. Go to him. Between you and them alone. 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 I hold that over the head of my wife. That's right. That's go ahead. Because I ain't going to bend for her when it come to God. No more for nobody else. Nobody else. So if I got any hen pecks, hen pecks. Today is a day to stop laying your eggs. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And the thing about it, some of you know your hen pecks. Amen. That's what make it so bad. Amen. Pastor Dennis, I'm your brother. No, you's a hen. That's a hen. You <laughs> a church hen. I'm going to tell him you my brother and you all go with feathers? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Wife tell you something, you just walking around. Just walking around. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Then if your wife get upset with what I preach, you get upset. Then you hear it all the way home. I know he was talking about me. I know he was talking about you. You see, you going back there? If you going back there, ain't going. Uh -huh. Well, let's pray about it. It ain't nothing to pray about, hen peck. <laughs> Save yourself. Save yourself. A man that's a real man, if his wife want to go to hell, he will encourage her to walk with God. Right. But if he's a real man, he ain't going to follow her to hell. No way. He's not going to follow her to hell. That's right. Oh, yeah. Chickens can't build a church. Chickens can't fight in battle. That's right. God manifests himself in the flesh of a man, a not man. the flesh of a hen. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Be strong and of a good courage. Do you hear that? Be strong. 
Basically, get this in that this. Joshua the book chapter of Joshua. 1 and verse 9. Be strong. And of a good I want to encourage my young men. Be strong. Be not afraid. Well, you want to get married. You got to be a man first. That's right. Is that the truth of it? That's right. You want to get married, you got to be a man first. Got and please don't judge your manhood by your bad performance. Go ahead. If your bad performance is the measuring stick of a man, insects, and animals, I'll weigh you. That's right. Roaches got you beat. Got you beat. That's why it's hard to get rid of them. That's right, Bob. Take care of their young Cause you last in bed a minute and a half, that don't mean nothing. <laughs> Glory to God. A minute and a half. That don't mean well. nothing. Go ahead, brother. Are right, you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. What did the holy book say? Be strong. Be strong. <laughs> and of a good courage. <laughs> and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Don't be afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. You know why? A lot of folk don't understand why I preach this so hard. Everybody in here comes from different backgrounds. That's right. Wonderful. Abuse of a woman is a common thing in America. Amen. Yeah. Women have been abused by their fathers. Women have been abused by uncles. Yeah. Women have been abused by their own blood brothers. Yeah, that's right. Women have been abused by quote unquote stepbrothers. That's right. That's right. And stepfathers. Yeah. Mm. So in the course of certain experiences, it made some women indict all men in the world and hate them. That's right. That's right. All women too. Gotta hate for them. Yeah. They make the mistake in generalizing all men to be the same, yet all men are not the same. That's right. But because of their experience and have been traumatized so bad, they have a tendency and they do make the mistake of indicting mm -hmm. all men. Sometimes men do the same thing. That's right. There are some men and women who took it to the cleaners so bad. I mean, and they really loved this woman, but she didn't give two cents about him. Her objective was to drain him dry. dry. I mean, hey, he had a bank account, put her name on it, and just left him with her name. That's right. Drained it. Drained Everything. It. Everything. So, because some men have experience with no good women, they have made the mistake to generalize women and indict them all, which is unfair to women. That's right. Because there are some good men and some good women in the world, but we're living in a time now without a shadow of a doubt, it's hard to find them. Hard and to you find. know what? It's getting worse and worse. Yeah. Is that the truth? Amen. It's getting worse. I mean, it's hard to find them, and that's the truth of it. You have to look beyond physique. You have to look beyond shape. You have to look beyond hair. You've got to really dig into character. That's it. Some folk characters Character. just no good. That's right. I don't care how beautiful some think they are and how handsome some believe they are. When you start digging into that character, man, sometimes you discover what you didn't want to find. That's true. And you're like, oh my God. That's right. But sometimes you won't find that when you're in a hurry. That's right. No. That's why you got to take your time. Take your time. Well, he made me feel good. <laughs> I've heard men say the same thing. Well, man, hey, man, hey, she knocked my lights out, man. She knocked my lights out, man. I, I was in the dark. I, I, man, hey, I was in the dark. I, I, I didn't know I was coming and going, man. I was in the dark. And then on the end, he tells me, but man, that girl crazy the bed bug. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't even worth it. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's right. So what is it? People are going into relationships for the wrong reason. That's right. For the wrong reason. Wrong reason. Desperation. That's what it is. Right? And loneliness. loneliness. Desperation and loneliness is what's causing relationships. 
Why the devil will you claim you love someone you don't even know don't or even, even know. trust? That's How right. can you love someone you don't trust? That's How right. can you be in love with a man or a woman and you don't trust them? Amen. You in love with them? Yeah, you trust them? Oh, no. <laughs> Foundation of any relationship is trust. It's trust. Are you listening? That's right. Know what to look for. That's right. You got to look for more than legs. Huh. The first thing you're going to see is a physical structure. Oh, yeah. But you better look past that. Past that. You better look way past that because underneath that physique, there's a character. A character. Either it's as harmless as a dove or it's as wicked as a snake. That's right. One of the two. That's right. And I don't want to be around the snake when it's coiled. Huh. Because that means it's going to strike. It's going to strike you. Are you listening? That's right. We're covering a lot of ground. We'll be out your way in the future. Give Everybody all right? Amen. You that are all right, say amen. 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 Hoorah. Hoorah. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. You that ain't all right, well, just nod your head. <laughs> Again, my objective is not to offend you, but we're going to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah. Because life is real. Life ain't no game. Life is real. That's right. It ain't no artificial picture. No, life no. is real. And you must deal with the reality of life from a real perspective. That's right. You young girls, you got to face the fact. You up against something. Oh, yes. You young brothers, you up against something. Oh, yeah. Don't be no grown hen pet. Don't be that. Man, I hate to see that in a man. A grown man ain't even got a beard. <laughs> you know, or, or, or a strong man. All of a sudden, man. Now, what I mean, when I say don't be a henpeck, that don't mean arguing, fighting with your wife, man. You know, I, I, that don't mean because you're a man, you don't listen to your wife. That don't mean because you're a man, your wife ain't never right. That's right. A lot of these women are right a whole lot. And you know many of us hate for them to tell you, I told you so. Amen. That's right. Sometimes, you know, the women should not be trying to quote scripture to their husbands, but you know, when they throw that scripture at you, and it fit just right. <laughs> Hypocritically, sometimes we try to, well, you know what, where that scripture's at? That's right. Sometimes the wife be like, well, I don't know where it's at, but I know it's in there. Uh -huh. And sometimes we try to wiggle out of it, well, you, you, ain't, you ain't quoted right. <laughs> You ain't quoted why. You got burnt, see? That's right. <laughs> she quoted enough. That's right. That you know it got you. Got you. Face the fact, brother. Yeah. Good woman is hard to find. Yeah. If you find one, Trip hold on to it. Hold on to that. But don't look for her to produce. And you ain't producing. That's right. The objective of putting wood on the fire is to build up the fire. Yeah. Now, if you're putting wood on the fire and it's knocking the fire out, right. something is wrong. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. You get married. Mm -hmm. Your family don't like your wife. Mm -hmm. That's your family business. Amen. Amen. You didn't, your family ain't marrying your wife. That's right. And your family ain't marrying a husband. That's, That's right. right. Out of respect, if you get married, you talk to that woman's parents mm -hmm. and let the woman meet your parents. That's right. That's right. But if my sister or brother don't like my wife, pff, so what? That's right. That's right. So what? That's their problem. That's their problem. That's, That's right. right. They ain't got to be satisfied with my wife at all. That's right. Because they ain't going to marry to please them no way. That's right. Amen. Tell my daughters if you ever get in mind to get married, and believe me, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I tell my daughter, if you never get married, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. I tell my sons, well, that's another story. <laughs> but my girls, if you don't want to get because I'm very adamant of how a woman should be treated. That's right. That's yeah, right. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very strict about that, man. I believe how I'm a firm believer how a woman should be treated. That's right. And there are some women who want to be treated a certain way, but this is where the loophole is. That's there's a thing called street smarts. Yeah. See. Hey, how many brothers in here from the streets? Raise your hand. 
Come on now. I mean, brothers from the street. Yeah, because you went in the bar once in a while, I don't mean you're from the street. No. That just means you got drunk. <laughs> so you could be in the bar, but you still don't know nothing about the street. Still don't know That's right. And you know, because if there's a woman that knows the streets, she know whether a man knows the streets or not. Right. Mm -hmm. And she know whether you green. Right. Yeah. Right. And she can tell when you're green or she can make a sucker out of you. That's right. Because she's giving you green words. And you eating them up. Y'all laughing and grinning. Before you know it, she got you eating right out of a pine. Skag. Just licking. Skag. <laughs> and what she's telling you, she's telling somebody else. That's right. Now, when you from the street, you know words carry rhythm. Mm -hmm. And you know you don't even have to have a certain conversation with the woman. You can just have a regular conversation with the woman and the woman can tell you everything about herself that you never asked. That's right. You never even asked her. Just in a regular conversation based upon the rhythm of the words because when she's green, you can easily lure her into certain conversations. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Brothers from the street, can I get an amen? Amen. A man that's experienced, experience. he know how to lure an inexperienced woman right into a conversation and make, and then what make it so slick, he can keep the whole conversation clean. That's true. And you done answered every question that you haven't even heard him ask. Mm. There's a thing called Morse code. Yeah. <laughs> Now, most cold to the untrained ear is just noise. But to the trained ear, it's a message. That's the way street smart is. That's right. Don't even have to have a filthy conversation. But he done ask you everything he want to ask you, and you done told him everything he want to know, to know. with out using one profanity word that's right without talking about sex mm -hmm. but you done told him everything, everything that he asked in fact he asked you questions and you didn't even hear him you didn't even wasn't even where you was that's answering true. them street smart that's right so therefore he can use that street smarts upon a green person and won't be for long that person saying you know what he loves me he loves me. I mean, she's losing sleep at night, laying there thinking about him. That's right. <laughs> and he's somewhere talking to one of his boys. Hey, man. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Am I right, brothers? Am I right, I said? Go ahead. This is why we teach about the street. That's right. Because everybody that come to church do not have God on their mind. That's right. There's some men come to church just to shop for women. Amen. And there's some women come to church just to shop for men. Amen. Solomon said that she looked for one of the simple, simple ones. ones. Simple. You come to church just shop. Yeah. Here you got brother simple. That's right. But if she shot, she can see right through you. I discern among the youth. Do you hear that? Proverbs 7 and verse 7. I discern among the youth. A young man. A young man. Void of understanding. Who don't know what's happening. That's right. A young man void of understanding. What you mean? He's stupid. He's stupid. <laughs> hmm? That's right. You got to know more than speaking in tongue and jerking like you have epilepsy. <laughs> you got to get some knowledge under your belt, knowledge. man. Woman right. to come by and shake all that stuff out of you. That's right. She ain't praying. She ain't praying that shaking no mind. Uh, no, no mind. <laughs> and then some brothers they become so ignorant they empty all their money out to her and don't even know her. just shoving out money. That's right. She got money coming in from all kind of directions. <laughs> Did you hear this? Still in Proverbs 7 and verse 7. And beheld among the simple ones. Hey, brother. Why in the world would you pay some woman's car off and you can't pay yours off? Simple, simple ones. 
What did she look for? Among the simple ones. Why in the world will you pay her house off and you can't even keep up your own mortgage? That's right. That's right. What did the book say? Beheld among the simple ones. Brother Simple. <laughs> Bishop Simple. <laughs> That's right. Reverend Simple. Reverend Simple. That's right. Think of it. That's Why true. in the world would you pay our car off and then you struggling pay your own mortgage off? That's right. hmm. Do that make sense? No. My gosh, you had to really put something on you. Don't ever let no woman come between two brothers mm -hmm. and she ain't your wife. Don't ever let no man come between two sisters and that's not your husband. That's right. Well, brother ain't your husband. What you worrying about who you talk to? That's right. <laughs> Shouldn't even be of your concern. He ain't your husband. Mind your business and leave his alone. His alone. That's right. Take care of your own business. Amen. That's right. Attend to your own affairs. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Amen. We'll be out your way. Everybody all right? Yeah. We'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow. Yes, sir. Come on. And beheld among the simple ones. I discern among the youths. Right, listen. This is a woman that's know the streets. And this is a young one who's in the street. In the street. Big difference. Mm -hmm. One that know the streets, the one that's in the street. Right. Well, I know the street pastor Jennings. I go to parties. <laughs> no, you in the street. Just in the street. Oh, I know the street pastor Jennings. I had sex before. Again, you in the streets. That's right. You don't know the streets. Knowing the streets is a, is a saying. Knowing the game that people play. It's a game. It's a street game. That's right. It's a cunning, crafty, skillful game. That's right. It's like chess. It truly is a thinking game. Streets is a thinking game. That's right. Skill. Who gonna make the next move? And you look at what move they make and you evaluate it. Evaluate it. Study it. Then you build up a strategy. That's right. Some of us can't defend ourselves. We become suckers of the game. Mm. Are you listening? That's right. You better listen to the old man. And beheld among the simple ones. Beheld among the simple ones. I discern among the youth. A young man. A young man void of understanding. Void of understanding. I want my young brothers to learn. You got to learn more than Jesus. That's right. You got to learn more than the resurrection. The resurrection. You can walk around and be stubborn and be upset with me. What is that going to prove? Either you know or you don't know. You don't know. And if you don't know, learn. That's right. You gotta look beyond. She rub your face. Oh, baby, you know you. You look so good. And then look at you. Look at you. And you like. Yep. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Go ahead. Listen at this. And beheld among the simple ones, mm -hmm. I discern among the youths. The scripture plainly told you about the sharp woman. What kind of person is she looking for? Mm -hmm. Discern. I have heard women say, I don't want to marry a man that's sharp. I want to marry a man that's slow. I've heard women say that. Mm. When a woman says, I want to marry a man that's slow, her objective is to put something over him during their whole time of marriage. That's right. Now, when a woman says, I want to marry someone that's slow, mm -hmm. she's a predator. She's a predator. She's a predator. Oh, yeah. She prey upon the ignorant. <laughs> That's, that's how dumb he is that's right. until he done went past ignorant. Yeah, he ignorant. just ignorant. <laughs> ignorant. Go ahead, brother. Are oh, you listening to what that's I'm right. telling you? Go ahead. Listen up this. And beheld among the simple ones. You're looking for a certain kind. Right. Simple. 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 Don't know. You talk about Jesus? All right. She act like she interested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make a fool out of him. Well, you know it.
You can't even buy yourself lunch in a brown paper bag. <laughs> All you got is a brown paper bag. That's right. Come on. I discern the, a, among the youth. Among a, the youth. A young man. A, oh, a young man. Void. Of understanding. Of understanding. And yes. this go both ways. Yes. But you have men that discern among women. Void. void of, understanding. of understanding. That's right. Listen. Passing through the street near her corner. What happened? And he went the way to her house. He went to a crib. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And? And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. The attire of a harlot is not always necessary, naked, showing breasts and thighs and all that. That's right. Sometimes the attire of a harlot, harlot can be very conservative. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right? And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. She was cunning, subtle of heart. Subtle of heart. And? She is loud. Uh-oh. Loud. And stubborn. See, loud is not only loud in speech, but you can be loud another way. Forceful. That's loud. Right. Forceful. Forward. Forward. And what? And stubborn. She's very stubborn. She like to have her way. That's right. Now, if she don't have her way, she put on an act Amen. to get her way. That's right. That's why sometimes some men can't control their wife. She can't have her way. She throw a tantrum. And then he give in all the time. All the time. Pitiful. Hmm. Nothing wrong with letting your wife have her way sometime, but brother, when you got to put your foot down, don't be afraid to put it down. That's right. Don't put it on quicksand either. <laughs> huh? I'll put my foot down, but what is it on? What is it on? What must put it on? Down with the ship. Give me an answer. That's right. Get up. Get up. That's right. Come on, son. She is loud and stubborn. Oh, this is good down home preaching. Yes, it is. Loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Her feet don't abide in her house. Now is she without now in the street. And what? And lieth and wait at every corner. And? So she caught him. She caught him. And kissed him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she caught him and did what? And kissed him. <laughs> and hit him. Kissed him. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Hit him. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Knocked the clean off his feet. That's right. After she kissed him and rubbed his head, how much, what she, how much money you had? <laughs> she don't even ask him, you know, like, do you have any money? It's just, how much money do you have? <laughs> 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 kissed him man. first. Kissed him. <laughs> quicken him. <laughs> you know, quicken him. <laughs> what did you say? How much money do you have? Well, what do you need? It's about five grand. I said. Five, five thousand dollars. Oh, well, you know, you know I, I borrow it if I have to. But, you know, you, if you can't do it, don't. She lying. She's lying. That's right. If you can't do it, don't. She want to act like she really don't need it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can't do it, don't. But you know, and, and before you know it, man, girl, you're, you're, you're looks at your voice. Well, you know that's that's the way I am. You know? I, I'll talk to you later. Bye. And when she get home, <laughs> I got him. Get on the phone. Hey, yeah, 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 girl. I mean, loud and crazy. Uh, yeah. When the other line click, beep. Oh, wait a minute, it's him, just a minute. Hello, how are you? <laughs> mm. You know, some folks like this and don't even have no guilt. That's a devilish shame. That's right. Don't feel no guilt. Don't feel no guilt. Come on, brother. So she caught him. Caught him. And kissed him. Mwah. 
And with an impudent face said, Oh, she head. dropped that face on. Face. Bat them eyelashes. So they wave at him. <laughs> Got him wringing his hands. Oh, gars. <laughs> That's right. And what? And with an impudent face said unto him, What? I have peace offerings got, with me. I got some peace offerings with me. This day have I paid this my vows. This day I paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee. I come out to meet you. Diligently to seek thy face. And? And I have found thee. I found you. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry. I found you. What do you mean? You what I've been looking for all my life. All my life. You, know, you don't know how many she done told that to already. That's right. She can look at her bank account and see that. Huh. You, 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 are, you are answered to my prayer. That's right. I've been seeking God seeking. for someone like you. And then they do that Hollywood cry, <laughs> you know, with no tears. That's right. I've been seeking God for someone like you. God answered. <laughs> and you sitting there like you watching a movie. Got you crying like a fool. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Go ahead. How many men in here been duped like that? Raise your hand. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. I know he ain't the only one. <laughs> no way. You know, the, the brothers don't want the body to know. All right, I won't, I won't even press the issue. <laughs> I won't even press the issue. All right, come on, son. Therefore came I forth to meet thee. Came I forth to meet thee. Diligently to seek diligently thy face. Diligently to seek your face. And I have found thee. I found you. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Mm -mm -mm. Come. Come on. And let us take our let fill of take love our until the fill morning. Fill of love in the morning. Let's do it all, all night till the sun come up. That's right. Have a field day. That's right. Mm -hmm. Let us so lace ourselves with loves. Yes. For the good man is not at home. That good man ain't here. He is gone a long journey. And I know how long he's going to be gone. That's right. Why? He had taken a bag of money he with him. He took some money with him. And will come home he at the day be appointed. With a much fair speech. When a woman want to marry a man who's slow, mm -hmm. she really don't want to be married. She just want to say she's married. That's right. But she want a sucker she can keep sucker. duking. Right. And she going to duke him right to the grave. That's right. Come on. With a much fair speech, she caused him to yield. And then what? With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. Flattering of her lips. You're so strong. <laughs> You're so strong. Tell you everything that you want to hear. That's right. Tell you everything you never heard. That's right. Huh. Question is, how many have she told that to? Mm -hmm. These are things that folks don't think about. That's right. That's right. Some quote the scripture: "It's better to marry than to burn." And you quote it loosely like a fool. Right. Yeah. You can get married and still burn. That's right. Go right to hell. That's right. Got him out in the barn. Huh. I don't heard that from people. Pastor Jenner, got him out in the barn. Got him out in the barn. You can get married and still burn. Still burn. And go right to hell. Right. Don't go quoting me something you don't know what it means. That's right. Got him out in the barn. You can go to hell, still, still yeah. burn, and still marry. That's right. Still burn. Still married. If one had the Holy Ghost and one don't have the Holy Ghost, you ain't got no business marrying. No business. I want to say what the Bible said, be unequally yoked with the unbeliever. Unequally yoked Unequal. with the unbeliever. Unequally. Unequal. Not equal. If I disbelieve something in the book of scripture, that disbelief will manifest itself. That's right. What is unequally yoked? I can be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and still be unequally yoked. Because the book says, how can two walk together except? Except they agree. They agree. That's right. What is the unequal? If I have the Holy Ghost, I'm in the body. That's right. 
Mm -hmm. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're not in the body. Not in it. I have the Holy Ghost. I'm in the body of Christ. I'm baptized by one spirit into one body. You don't have the Holy Ghost, you ain't in the body. That's right. It's unequal. You are unequal. That's unequal. Now, if I'm willing to say I don't have the Holy Ghost, just to marry this woman, yeah, that's something you there. deserve hell. That's something there. In fact, you pass desperate. You pass. That's right. In fact, you's a sellout on that's God. That's a sellout. Did I ever want a woman or a man in my bosom so strong, I'd rather say I don't have the Holy Ghost. That's, that's something. I don't have you. That's something. You're nothing but a pure sinner. That's a sinner. That's all. So. Are you listening? That's yeah. denying God. Yeah. Oh, Jesus yeah. said, if you deny me, I will deny you before my Father which is in heaven. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Eloping! Out of the question. Because uh -huh. if a person wise, they want God's blessing upon it. That's right. Is that right? That's right. If they wise, they, in a day like today, you are God's blessing upon it. Oh, yeah. I would, I would want God blessing upon my marriage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Running off, waking some old drunken preacher up at night. That's right. Go down to Las Vegas. Oh. Right. I want to get married. All right, that'll be $2.50. That's right. $2. That's right. That's right. listen. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth. Any time a man can convert your belief mm -hmm. and now you denounce what you used to believe and, and you want to marry him use a sellout that's a sellout anytime a woman make you denounce your belief mm -hmm. and your belief is godly and you will denounce it just to marry use a sellout that's a sellout because god is first that's right let me interject and throw this in there to my sisters that have a child or children and you're not married. When you got in mind and get married, you can't think of yourself now. You got to think of your child or children that you have. Because you're bringing a man in that house. Right. That's not the father to that son or father to that daughter or daughters or sons. Mm -hmm. And you got to take it under consideration. And it takes time to know whether he's, you can trust that child or children around him. That's right. Well, I got a son, and you know, so I shouldn't have no problems there, Pastor Jennings. <laughs> what planet are you from? Not today. <laughs> You're from Greensville. <laughs> That's right. What do you mean? You real green up here to think that. Yeah. Do you know how many young boys? Getting hit. Yeah. I don't mean with a fist either. That's right. That's right. By men. That's and these right. men are they fathers and stepfathers? Yeah. You know how many young girls are getting bounced upon by their so called stepfather? stepfathers? Their mother's new husband? Mm hmm. See how you look at your daughter or daughters or sons. Pastor Jenny, you're getting ridiculous. All right, think like a fool. That's right. See as you're looking at your daughter backside when she walked by. Mm. Yeah, she's growing, ain't she? <laughs> My Lord. Go ahead, brother. See, the mother, if you don't have a husband, then you are the single protector of your child or children. You're the protector. You're to protect your child or children at all costs. That's right. And you don't put no man in front of your child or children. Amen. Enough that you will ignore the feelings of your child or children to marry some man. Amen. Man, you ain't got a job. Huh. Don't talk about marriage. Get a job. Get a job. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. 
Woman, if you in college or in school, finish school first Go before ahead. you get married. Amen. Don't let no man come in your life and snatch you out of college. That's right. Good teaching. Good teaching. I did this. I love them. I get out your way. This is what we're dealing with in society. In today's society, almost 95% of young marriages don't last. Amen. And you know what happened? Many of you young women, you don't rely on a man to take care of you. And you ain't got nothing to fall back on. So That's now, right. he end up leaving. You end up got to go back home to your mama. That's right. Because you ain't got no skill to fall back on. That's right. You ain't score, finish. Finish, finish. That's right, too. Finish it. That's right. That's right. If you got a bank account and you get met, brother, if that woman already got a bank account and you marry her, don't try to force her to merge with yours. That's right. It ain't nothing wrong with your wife having her own bank account. She worked to make her money, she can save her money. Amen. Why she gotta work and make her money and bring her check on to you? Good teaching. Give me your check. Amen. Make your own money. Get your own check. Then try to quote scripture. Obey me in all things. Obey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't try to misuse the book. Go ahead, brother. So this is where many mess up. They talk to a brother. Oh, <laughs> oh not even a guarantee you're going to marry her. And you give him a bank account. You put him on your checking account. You paying his rent. You paying his car note. A man that's a real man will feel bad. I still feel man. A man that's a real man going to feel bad. This woman got to pay my car note. If you're a real man. Some men are like, I don't care, you know. Girl, take care of me. You know, pay my car note, do my thing. That's right. Did you know something thing like that? Yeah. They talk just like that. That's right. Hey, man, they, you can talk to some of these men. Man, you mean to tell me this girl she pay your car note? That's right, man. She pay my car note, boy. What you talking about? That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's right. And, I, and, it, and you want to make it so sad? Some of these young girls don't mind. Something wrong with you. You got to watch me. Something wrong with you. There's something right. wrong with you if you do that type of foolishness. Foolish. You got a mind to get married? Do not drop out of college just to get married. That's right. That's right. Get your skill under your belt. That's right. That's right. Just in case you walk out and leave, Amen. you got something to fall back on. Right. Right. Amen. Is that right? right? You got something to fall back on. Because today's young generation can't take pressure. Can't take pressure. Amen. When pressure fall on that marriage, one go east and one go west. Can't take pressure. They don't mind making babies, but they can't take pressure. Can't take the stress. Don't you drop out of college, you fall in fall in love with some man so much I'm not going to school I have given up on education <laughs> I will leave college for him yeah yeah girl finish whatever course you're taking get your degree that you're going for once you finish that area of your degree go back get the highest degree in your profession that you want until you master that profession. That's it. Don't you think for one minute, in order to be a complete woman, you need a man? Amen. Some of you wasn't messed up until you got a man. Amen. Amen. Excellent. Are you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Go ahead. Young girls in school got a mind to go to college. Let no man snatch you out of school. I don't care what kind of promise he make. If he offer to put a lasso around the moon. Until you ain't got to have electricity in the house. I will give you the moon and pull it in your yard. 
Every night. Every night. Forget it. Please don't get all happy and worked up over promises. Baby, I give you this. Baby, I do you that. Stop all that talking. See what he can produce. That's right. That's right. Talk is cheap. Do you know how common it is to hear? I love you. That's right. I love you. Talk is cheap. You got to produce. Go ahead. And a person cannot produce under the heading of love Amen. until they fully understand the subject. If I'm limited in my understanding of the subject, I'm limited in my ability to produce. That's right. That's right. The more I know, the more, you know, the more I can produce. The less I know, the less I can produce. Because you know what I, most folk idea of love is? No more than having sex. That's right. That's the truth of it. That's right. Most folk idea of love it's having sex. And some men would tell the girl, well, you know, hey, you know, if you love me, we will have a good down to earth talk tonight. Right. If you love me, you know, right. you give me some, you know what I mean? Right. Give me some. And she's like, well, I do love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, baby, now if you love me, you know, come on, you know, go ahead, you know, I love you. <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> Let me educate you, family. Everybody, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I feel like an old man. <laughs> going to bed or going in the car or wherever you go is not a proof of love. No, no. Because ask yourself have you been there before? And were you in love with the one you've been with? That's right. And many times, no. That's right. You just did it. Because you was in the mood yeah. to do it. And you done it. <laughs> and the end of it. And the end of it. So, sex is not the foundation of love. That's right. No. No, it is not. Young people, are you listening to me? Go ahead. You young, hot teenagers. Sex Go is ahead. not the key to love. Love is a lesson in life that one must learn how to love. Learn the heart. Love the mind. Right. Learn how to value the other's opinion and thought. It's a growing stage of development. That's right. Love is something that must be nurtured because it must develop. Yeah. You can't nurture a plant and you ain't got water to drop on it. That's right. That's right. Knowledge nurtures love. Yeah. If I ain't got knowledge, I can't nurture a desert. Amen. Old folks said you can't get blood out of a turnip. Yeah. Are you listening? It's good teaching. This is why some folk that got married have realized later, man, I don't love her. I don't love him. And you know, there are folks that got like that. There are folks that have been in a relationship and they thought they loved this girl. And she thought she loved him. But when it was over, hey, you know, I, I, I didn't love her. I really didn't love I didn't love him. I thought it was. Why? Because of your limited knowledge of the subject. A man who never rode a 10 speed bike still was stuck with training wheels. That's right. If he can't, I, I, I can't ride a motorcycle. Now, my brother Ken, he's a motorcycle genius. And John, well, he's one of the masters of Baltimore. <laughs> Yeah, Brother John is one of the masters of Baltimore. When it comes to riding, this man got a name throughout Baltimore. I'm, I'm, I'm good in the book. I can't get on no motorcycle and lean. I won't have no knees left. I can lean, but I'm, somebody's going to have to pick me up. You know, I, I got my brothers from B-Town been talking to me. Come on, Pastor, you want to ride? You got to learn. You know, you know they kind of put a bug in my head. I'm thinking about it. I am. I even I told, I told my wife. I said, you know, I'm thinking about you know how to ride a motorcycle. She said, ah. <laughs> I said, but I'm still thinking about it. 
You know, I am. I'm thinking about it. I told them, because sometimes the brothers from Baltimore, they come to the church in Philadelphia. It's it, like a, a stall full of horses. Mm -hmm. Motorcycles just lined up. I told them maybe one day I'd put on my motorcycle gear and my leather and pull up one of them little ones. <laughs> come up there right next to them. Right. Yes, look at them. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hell men and all. <laughs> but I don't know how to ride. So therefore, what happened? If I want to learn how to ride, it's best for me to connect myself with someone that know it. That's right. You want to get knowledge? Stop hanging with a fool. Amen. Come on. Consult not with a fool. Amen. Do you hear that? In Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 17. Consult not with a fool. Young people. Let me tell you something real good. If you got a mind to get married, that man cannot respect your parents, forget it. Oh, yeah. Woman cannot respect your parents, forget it. forget it. They can't respect your leader, forget it. That's right. Most of all, they can't respect God, forget it. Amen. That's the truth of it. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. Read quick so I can quit. With a much fair speech, she caused him to yield. And then, with the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He duped him. He goeth after his straight way as an ox goeth to the slaughter. Uh, <laughs> that ox just be charging. Mm -hmm. A lot of men done the ox. Huh. Done the ox. Just charging, charging, blind, just charging. Come on. Or as a fool. Or as a fool. As a fool. To the correction, to the correction of the stocks. Of the stocks. My young brothers and sisters that are listening and you that are watching, Amen. again, I repeat myself, young woman, please do not uh, quit college just to get married. Do not allow yourself to get pregnant and then you can't finish high school. You That's can't right. finish college. Amen. Believe me, it will not be easy. Young brother, do not go out here making babies. Wait till you get married. That's right. More so, you ain't even got a job. You can't buy your own soap. You can't buy your own towels. Yeah. She got to buy your toothbrush. Think of it. Are you listening to me? All men that get married is not marriage material. That's right. There's some women done good. You had good credit. You had a bank account. You had sound credit yep. until you married a bum. Yeah. I'm going to tell you just like it is. Amen. Your bum jacked up your credit. Amen. Your bum drained your bank account. Your bum caused you to lose your car. Yeah. Your bum ahead, leaned brother. on you like he was nothing but a baby. You don't marry a man to raise him. You birth children so you can raise your children. If you got to raise a man and baby him. You don't need to marry him. Go ahead. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Now, that was a good lesson. Yeah, it was good. It dealt with everything that needs to be dealt with. You see why I get a lot of folk rolly eyes at me? look at me and throw their hands around and they get offended because they deal with reality they, we deal with reality but listen what we're dealing with is everyday life people yes, this is real yes, sir. face the fact this is real doesn't matter how harsh it sounds right. it's real what I want to do is encourage to, to make cause people if I can to avoid especially you young teenagers Avoid doing the same thing that so many others are doing and now they all regret that they can't do nothing about it. It don't make no sense when I go through the streets of Philadelphia. 13, 14, 15 year old girls pushing a stroller. A baby in it, a baby in the back of it, a baby on both sides and can't find the father. 
A man can tell whether you are emotionally vulnerable. He can prey upon your vulnerability. Don't ever let no man tell you, baby, listen, I marry you if you give me a baby. Oh, oh, you will? Yes. Get you pregnant and you're on a plane in Mexico. Eating tortillas. And I have people ask me, Pastor Jenner, is it people really that lightheaded? You have no idea. People prey upon people. I have no respect for no woman that prey upon a man. I have no respect for no man that prey upon a woman. I have because that's below human. Even a dog deserve a bone for doing something good. Doesn't he? But there are those that live their life as a buzzard. Flying around every carcass they can see. And pray upon it. That's right. Like a parasite. Pray upon it. You know. So to my sisters, I mean this. If you are in school, finish first. If you're working, see, years ago, if that man say, I take care of you, you may have some trust. A lot of men are different today. Some men will tell you, well, look, I marry you, but I ain't going to take care of you. You're going to work. <laughs> That's some men will tell you that straight up. You going to work. Wait, wait, hold it, hold, hold it, man. Wait a minute, man. Hold it. Let's make something clear. It is not a commandment for the woman to work. It isn't. If she do, there ain't nothing wrong with it. But it's not a commandment for the woman to work. The book says the man shall work by the sweat of his brow. This is why I encourage my brothers, if you got in mind to get married, if your wife, if the woman is working, don't look at both sets of income. And say, well, we can manage because both of us is making sixty or seventy thousand dollars a year. Because really, she can say, well, or she may get pregnant the first night, you know, or get sick. I can't work. Why? Oh, wait a minute, girl. How am I gonna manage this mortgage? You should have thought of that before you got married. You understand? You should have thought of that before you got married. It is, it is this type of teaching. That people don't think of. And I tell my brothers, if the woman is working, don't go into marriage looking at things that you can afford based upon two salaries. For the simple fact, something may happen, man. She may get pregnant right away. My wife was a nurse. When I got married, she was a nurse. I didn't know how fertile that was. Wasn't it for long? Whoop, there it is. <laughs> Whoop, there it is. Got pregnant quick. Quick. Glory to God to the highest. When I looked, there was another one. When I looked, there was another one. No, I come. That's, that's coming. I'm like, my God. Because see, some women get pregnant the man may plan and she may plan but all plans don't go according to plan That's right. That's plans. next thing you know baby I'm pregnant oh wait a minute girl wait we just gonna be married a week <laughs> I know but <laughs> <laughs> I know next thing you know three o'clock in the morning I need, I need a pizza I want a pizza <laughs> ain't no pizza shop is that open find one <laughs> Now ain't she emotionally all freaked out? Hey man, I know my wife was pregnant with my first child. I went out two o'clock in the morning, find a pizza shop. And just so happened where I was living that there was a 24 hour one open. I went and got the pizza and came back when she opened it, she ain't me eat it. I'm like, you mean to tell me it's two o'clock in the morning? I feel like telling her, eat this thing. <laughs> So this is why I'm telling you, the young, the young generation is different than old school. Man, these guys are telling you quit. Oh, you, oh, you ain't quitting, you working. You ain't going to quit. Baby, I've been working for years. I don't want to work. I don't care. You are working. They don't give her a choice, but God does. 
God does. You know, so if the woman, you working and you're saving your money, good. You know, save your money. Don't get in, involved with some man you ain't married and you giving this guy all your cash. What in the world is wrong with you? You giving him your cash, he's driving around in your car, winding it down, breaking it up, and then put the bill on you. Uh, he driving your car, your engine light came on. <laughs> your engine light came on. You know, so here's the keys, you know. Uh, I make the appointment, but you got to take it. Who are going to pay for it? Well, you know he ain't got no money. <laughs> it's your car. It's your car. Oh, oh. See, I can labor in on this for a while. Because what, make, what I find so amazing, some women that go through this don't say nothing. Well, it's just love. It's just a car. Then let him pay the bill then. All right, who give me the correct time, brother? Oh, well, it's still early. I'm going quick. <laughs> About 1026, but we hope that all of you enjoyed it. Yes, sir. You know? <laughs> I hope that the message have helped our young brothers and sisters. To my young sisters that have a child or children out of wedlock, I don't want you to think that Pastor Jenna looked down on you. The deed is wrong. And I'm not justifying your deed at all, not by any means. But I would encourage you not make it happen with these babies. You young people that are not pregnant, don't try to explore what is young girls. I want to know what it's like to have a baby. It's a situation between life and death. You young men who don't have jobs, keep your drawers on. I'm jumping like jumping beans. Jump in your clothes. Go get a job and get a job working on a railroad. Burn off all that engine. Just jumping. Laying rails. Because I'm telling you, you go around here getting some girl pregnant, man. You ain't got no job. And let me tell you something. The government ain't playing that either. Then you get some little job and the government going to jump in that check. Before you know it, you ain't going to have enough money to go buy a, a double cheeseburger. You can't get a dollar million. This is cold truth facts. Do not think you're not a man, young brother, because you ain't had no sex. If you think sex make you a man, you a fool. Let me say it again. Do not think. You don't even think you are a man because you have sex. Sex ain't never made a woman. Sex ain't never made a man. It have made babies, syphilis, gonorrhea, the clap, <laughs> herbies. See, the clap was a short term used for chlamydia. HIV, and now what the young women is up against in our lifetime is men on the down low that are 100% gay and show no outward traits. They walk just as hard as I do, dipping and strolling, but they swing in low. Sweet and low. Now imagine. You get married. See, this is what I mean by not rushing. Because time. Well, Pastor Dennis, how much time? I'm getting older. It's a battle with you. 
I'm talking that foolishness as an excuse. That's right. You don't believe it. It's best to get married at 70 and do it right. And enjoy it for a month and die. Or die after the first night. Do it right. Come on, come on, dear. Come on. Hey, my baby. Come on. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. Rather do it right the first time. Get off work early and come home. And your husband locked tight in with the next door neighbor. I'm telling you cases that I dealt with. I, everything I preach are cases that came in my office. I dealt with women that came home and found their husband stuck with their own brother-in-law. This is after he's speaking in tongues. And some of you get upset with me. I had to call the cops. Amen. Call the paramedics. Amen. Couldn't move them quickly and forcefully. Just yelling. Just move them. <laughs> 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 hurting! <laughs> hurting, I say. I say hurting. <laughs> Everything I preach came in my office. Everything. I'm not talking about sinners either. Church. All this came in my office. Came in my offices and practically every branch church in here. You don't even know the cases I dealt with. Philadelphia, Florence, South Carolina, Alabama. Louisiana. And some of you hot incompetent things rushing to get married Come on, the worst things to do you man this down low is dangerous it's dangerous man you can't see it they have no choice to have no feminine character none of it brothers following me looking at me up and down. I have no type of gay character. What you want from me? What you want from me? You ain't getting nothing from me. Man ain't got nothing to offer me. Yeah, I seen brother looking at me from head to toe. It ain't got no gay character. Some folks do like Judas. Is it I? <laughs> Is it I? Hey, you ain't gotta question yourself. I can be around any man and look. You don't play on phase me. Two brothers should be able to be in the parking lot talking or sitting in a car talking without being phased, not rubbing one another's thighs. Cadillac and Lincoln driving faggots. That's down low behavior. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you cannot be helped until you admit it. That's, right. That's, right. That's, right. That's the truth of it. That's all. If us brothers traveling out the country and got to share a shell hotel, we can sleep in the same room, straight men. That's right. That's right. Ain't no big deal. Right. We can walk around one another out in the way, ain't no big deal. Right. Sit and talk. What's going on, man? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I ain't sitting around no man like that. He keep looking. Seek 
weekend, you shall find. Yeah, that don't work here. <laughs> What you looking for? Amen. If this offends any man, because you ain't straight. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you old or young, That's right. That's right. if it offends any of you, you ain't straight. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is why I tell my young sisters, you better wait. That's right. Got some down low fella coming in your house, a cross dresser, That's right. wearing your Heels and putting on your underclothes and wearing your hat. Come on, I just want to be close to you. I done dealt with cross dressing in the church. I dealt with it in the church. Everything we have preached, everything we have dealt with. Mm -hmm. You know why? Everyone that come to church do not have the same background. Right. They don't have the same background, so therefore, nobody out there knows the struggle that another person has. But you know what? All that's dumped on is dumped right in my lap. Yes. Who got to deal with it? We do. Right. Ain't nothing fun about it either. Right. It's mentally exhausting and emotionally exhausting and physically exhausting. Try to convince a brother or oh brothers that man ain't for you. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. Yes, it is a spirit. Someone said, Well, a person had to have done it before. No, it's the spirit. Satan can just put an attraction in a man and make him start being attracted to other men. And he ain't never been gay in his life. It's a spirit. Two brothers on the parking lot sitting in the car kissing, rubbing your ashy thighs. You. Now, if any of you get fidgety, something wrong. What's up? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I shake my brother's hand and greet him with a holy kiss on the cheek. You greet with a holy kiss. You ain't got a kiss in the lip. If I offend anybody, because I don't want you to kiss me in the lip. All right. I'm not obligated by the book to kiss you in the lip. I'm not obligated by the book to kiss you in your mouth. You folk that watch, watch us and go to church and you got men always want to kiss one another in the mouth, cut that stuff out. Amen. You mean if I greet you on the cheek, that's a less holy greeting? I don't want no man kiss me in my mouth. Amen. None! Amen. You need to bring your lips to my lips. Amen. I don't care if you got so much holy ghost, you're Gabriel's twin brother. Amen. Don't even bring your lips to my lips. That's right, sir. That's right. That's right. Don't even pucker up this way. <laughs> Go to churches where they. I, had, I went to a church years ago. I greeted the preacher. I kissed him on the cheek. This cat told me in front of the public, you didn't kiss me right. I'm like, what? I mean, what you want me to do? Dip you? A man greet me, kiss me on the cheek, Jack. That's right. That's right. And don't make it long. Make it so quick until I can't even hardly feel it. That's, right. Right. Amen. That's, That's right. the truth of it, That's man. Right. That's right. I want no man kissing me in my lips. Amen. Right, let me let y'all go. Like, you got plenty to talk about tonight. Let us all stand. <laughs> Under him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless. For the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters say amen. amen.